Ever wanted to earn money selling your own custom merch? Starting your own brand has never been easier. Head over to Printify.com and choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Opportunities are endless. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store and let your followers know. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer, no matter where they are. Let's get you started. Open a merch store with Printify today and get two months premium for free.
Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. It is another beautiful Friday here in the studio, and what better way to spend it than none other watching the PUBG Pro sessions with Printify, and as well having a special guest. My name is V or Renards, whatever you prefer, and alongside with me is Chris or... How do you pronounce Trumpet it? Monkey Trumpet Monkey as well. Trumpet Monkey, yeah. Absolutely. Great to be back here. Session session one, week two. Can't think of a better way to spend my Friday night. And uh, once again, please don't tell Mrs. Trumpet Monkey I said that. But happy to yeah. be back, mate. Yeah, I mean, a huge welcome to anyone who is tuning in new. We'll definitely catch you up on what went down last week. And a quick reminder, you guys, uh, as Chris already mentioned, this is session number one. We will have two more weeks of uh, PUBG uh, the following Friday and the week after that as well. That is going to be sessions number two. So the big interesting talking point today is that, well, this concludes, this week will conclude uh, session number one. And because of that, uh, you know, it means that we'll get to find out who grabs the first 5k uh, dollars yep. in their pockets. And obviously there's a, we also made a small change in terms of uh, maps. Uh, so the sequence will be as follows. Those will be two first games are going to be Miramar. Then we'll follow up with two games of Erangel. And it will finish things off with a bit of a fun round, right? Right. Yep, the VIP rounds with Donok D taking place in Sandhawk, and that's meant to be a more fun and chill way to end proceedings, and hopefully lasts a little bit longer than last week. But we'll get to that. Wait, later. Yeah, we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll get to that as we uh, proceed, right? So let's have a look at the first teams that are going to be participating in this event. A quick reminder once again: so first four teams are on your screen, and those are accordingly: Blaze Esports, Ents, Phase, and Gameframe. And I definitely would like to point out here that out of these four. Firstly, Ents is definitely a team you would like to uh, keep in mind just due to the fact that last week during the VIP round, one of the team's players took down Dan D. Well, I must say <laughs> by accident, but it did happen really fast there. So hopefully it's not going to be a repeat of that scenario. And as well, out of these four, you definitely would like to keep your eyes on FaZe. Last week, mm -hmm. they had a bit of a hard run uh, to put things lightly, right? But for an organization that is has the second highest earnings out of all PUBG organizations uh, that are out there, you know, y you would expect for bigger things to come. And I have a, my gut feeling is saying that we'll see a bit more of that today absolutely and then having a look at the next four teams here we have the eastern bull wildcats navi northern lights and omakan sports and and i want to give a quick shout out to the eastern bull wildcats here they are i like to refer to them as the kings of mea middle east africa but now they're they're out here to flex with emea that's the the best teams in europe as well representing a whole lot of people looking for for big things from them and then of course batulans from Northern Lights, I'm expecting him to bring the pain. He was really, really doing well there last week. Uh, in terms of ADR, he's ranked fourth in this competition. And yeah, I'm expecting him to do a little bit of damage this week as well. All right, so keeping our eyes peeled for Northern Lights. Uh, moving on though, the next following four teams is Raise Your Edge, Redline, Team Liquid, and Tempest. And here, you know, it's always important to have a strong team score. And for here, I would like to mention the fact that on uh, Team Liquid's Jeems and IBs have been together on this team for more than a two and a half years and in a such a competitive environment as it is currently it is extremely important to have such a strong core line uh, like that and as well I would like to point out from Red Redline Michael last week had an amazing flank happening on the second game of uh, Miramar oh, yeah. and just due to that flank alone the team was able to secure the victory in that second game last week so that is super interesting stuff. But you we bet. still have four more teams. We do. Rounding it out. Tornado, Energy, TSM, Unity, and Wind Streak. And, of course, how can we not mention Unity? They're the top dogs here. they got the targets on their back. They're, they're, we're going to be having a look at the standings in just a moment. But they are currently leading. And a shout-out to Wind Streak as well. They were late additions. They found out, I think, only 48 hours before you know proceedings began that they were going to be playing. And, of course, they are you know predominantly Russian and, therefore, immediately awesome. Immediately, awesome. Immediately. By default. 
Okay. All right. So uh, as you can see, these are all the teams that are going to be participating here again. Choose the logo that you're going to follow <laughs> once we see uh, the first uh, teams jumping out of that airplane. That is shortly to follow. But before that, we do have a few more things to point out here. So let's have a talk once again about the map. So as I mentioned beforehand, the first two games are going to be on Miramar. Uh, the lovely, dusty uh, French, <laughs> French Riviera, as you said yeah. last week, right? Yeah. So great vacation. Point uh, just make sure that you don't run into the local yeah. mafiosos, Plata or Plamo, as they say. The Absolutely. second of the two maps, though, Chris, yeah, on the OG Aaron Girl. I cannot wait. This is the Dr. Dre of PUBG maps, you know, <laughs> he is the killer. I, I can't wait to see this. Um, and and yeah, right now, again, we're, we're gonna go all four competitive matches in a row, exactly. And then we'll be finishing up uh, with. The VIP round and Donald D, Banana Army, get ready. That should be a, a lot of fun this week. Yeah, course, so yeah, we're gonna have Donald D on on calls as on well. On Sandhook yeah. and on calls. Yeah. So Donald yeah. D all around the place. So uh, I mean, as I said last week, did bring us some interesting points uh, of of uh, to talk about, right? So we uh, you did uh, touch on the subject beforehand. Unity currently in the lead, and it's a bit of a special thing, uh, you know, because because they did have that quick merger. But uh, yeah. before we talk more about that, let's remind everyone who's tuning in knew how last week ended. So the overall standings is as shown here. So currently in first place, Unity, 39 points, 18 kill points as well so they've been quite active around the map they have yeah. a single victory in their pocket as well second place currently taken by raise your edge 22 kill points 36 uh, points overall respectively third place currently taken by northern lights 36 points as well 21 kill points so just a single point behind raise your edge there in terms of kills fourth ones are tsm they were the first to uh, secure a victory last week let's see if they can follow up and that success uh fifth and sixth place being held by Amaka sports and blaze esports 27 points for the both of them but i'm not gonna have a bit more kills there and of course uh closing the first eight uh, off with team liquid and navi 26 and 24 points accordingly yeah absolutely bottom end of the table here then we have red line they did get a win uh only 10 kill points but with 22 tournament points in total then ants uh with with the 15 kills and 19 points there phase clan who, again, this is going to be one of our storylines this week, started to make, they started a little slow, right, but then started to make that epic comeback, and we'll come to that in a little bit. 11 kills and 19 points. Istanbul Wildcats, who I mentioned, you know, repping, repping a whole lot of people there, so hopefully hopefully they continue. 14 kills, 17 points. Game frame, 11 kills, 16. Tempest, 10 kills, 15 tournament points. Win streak, late to the party, 8 kills, 13 points there. And then Tornado Energy, a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, 11 kills and 11 points there. And uh, on, on to then the top players of the tournament. Yeah, well, so far, uh, at least so far, right? So uh, pretty much uh, let's just uh, quickly have a look at at least at the top eight, which currently here. I think the one that stands out really for us is uh, BSD there with, with like 10 kills yep. of his own, uh, not to mention the rest that his team has. So he's been extremely active around the board and the ADR is pretty decent there as well. Not to say more, 357. You know what is a very pleasant sight for, for Northern Lights, obviously, to have three players here in the top uh, eight as well, right? First, third, and fourth position taken by their team members. That is by Deep Spyro and Batulans. And, and you touched on Batulans beforehand as well. Like, the guy has been around all over the place with the DMRs in his hand. And, like, if, he, if there's a mini 14 and Batulans right? is holding it, you can count on him racking up those numbers <laughs> even more. But, of course, we do need to mention the likes of uh, Kompot there, Besto, GMT, Laza, you know. Uh, it, it, like, the guys are doing immense work for their teams and I would expect only more today because you know again today we'll find out who are the winners of the first session and that does mean that a lot is riding on this for these teams right Absolutely. but before we move on with the very first map I do need to mention yet again that 
this all of this would not be possible without special people behind the scenes such as our production as as well as our special guest Danuk D right so we, we we had a few conversations last week with Danuk just to warm things up and, and to feel out how everyone is feeling here and we're going to try and get her on the line as well so uh, I believe the call is ready so let's see if we can jump into the convo hello Danuk D how are you feeling and can you hear us I can hear you. Hi, guys. Happy days. All right. Well, Danik, so you had the chance to see last how last week turned out. And I'm, I'm just wondering, can you tell us just a bit more? What are your thoughts? What are your impressions uh, looking back after week number one? Uh, it was really interesting to watch the tournament. And I'm, I was really excited about the VIP game. And I'm still looking for it, for it <laughs> to, today. And I hope it's going to go way more smoother than the last week. All right, cool. Well, I mean, uh, to touch on the subject of uh, today's games a bit more, uh, you know, you, we st do have uh, some teams that you would have expected to end up being slightly higher in the overall standings, for example, the likes of Tornado Energy. Do you think that is going to be the case? Do you think they're going to try and, uh, and switch things up and see if they can go for higher points now? Definitely. I believe the Tornado Energy this week is going to perform much more better. Uh, I feel maybe as the first week and first day, uh, maybe they didn't have like, uh, I don't know, some pressure maybe was yeah. there on them. And maybe they were going to, I, def I definitely believe they're going to perform much more better. I hope you don't hear my duck in the background. She's like playing with the... <laughs> well, it, 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 no, don't worry too much. We love animals here. So, uh, you know, uh, that is definitely not a problem. Chris, I do believe that you have some urgent questions of your own. <laughs> Absolutely. We can hear we can hear Doggo, but I, I think he's the star of, of the show, Don of D. Don't worry. And um, they won't let me bring my dogs to the studio. So you're very lucky. Sad face. <laughs> Sad face indeed. But um, look, we wanted to ask you, what, what was your thought on, thoughts on the impact of the bounty point system in particular on the competition standings there? I think it did give a little bit different vibe in the tournament in general. And teams were kind of performing in a different kind of way because, you know, because of the price pool. And that was really interesting and refreshing uh, thing to add to the games. Uh, personally, I did enjoy to watch them. That's awesome. Good to hear. All right. All right. So we're, we're All doing, right. We're doing we're something, something right. here. Yeah, exactly. We're doing something <laughs> right. And then, of course, I mean, we've heard we've heard a lot of requests, you know, you know, team team Donok D out there as well. So I just wanted to ask you if you were on one of the teams that was in the bottom half of the table. Right. So you're chasing the points. Would you switch up your tactics? Would you play more aggressively? What would team Donok D do in that situation if you were in the bottom eight, say? Definitely, if you were playing against so many good teams in the same lobby, uh, the camping and the waiting strategy doesn't work in such such type of games. You have to definitely play really aggressive, but at the same time, you have to be careful. So I would believe three of uh, three of the team members would be like really aggro, and the fourth one should be like scouting area and being like uh, safe, uh, like making uh, callouts for the teammates to assist them from behind. But once again, I'm going to repeat myself. When you play with such a good teams in the lobby, you have to play definitely really aggressive to get all those points and climb on the leaderboard. There we go. Coach Donok D. Yeah, wise I mean, words right there. Wise words. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm extremely pleased to hear that everyone today is extremely enthusiastic and Danuk as well. I mean, again, a huge thank you for being our special guest and, and for, for just giving that extra to this uh, event and these uh, pro sessions. Danuk, this is definitely not the last time that we're going to be speaking with you today. So uh, overall, I would wish you the wish you best of luck uh, watching these games. We'll keep, uh, keep a close eye on them as well, obviously. And, uh, you know, if, if do you have any perhaps messages that you would uh, like to wish to our viewers uh, today? Uh, just enjoy the tournament. Don't forget to grab some snacks together with you and cheer <laughs> for your favorite team. All right, cool. I think that about sums it up. Danuk D, as I said, we'll talk to you a bit more a bit later. Moving on, though, we have the teams already joining their uh, respective lobbies. And that does mean that the first super important super interesting events oh, yeah. are about to unfold on the first game of Miramar. Now, you know, we, we, we sort of already drew in the bit of a storyline there. So let's let's just talk about Unity for a second. Yeah. Okay. Yep. They had an excellent run on week number one, right? 
They're currently in first place in the overall standings. Obviously, w with the fact that this team has gone through a bit of a merger, I think you can actually elaborate a bit more on that. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we believe it was only on kind of Tuesday it's evening. Like two days before. Yeah, Wednesday maybe maybe before the actual tournament kicked off uh, uh, with potential one of the teams actually dissolved and then three of their members moved into unity yeah and so you know I, obviously three members who are familiar with each other but you know a roster in there that isn't completely familiar with one another for them to come out against 15 of the best teams in europe okay and, and, and globally obviously really classy teams as well uh, to, to come top, I think, was, was pretty special. Well, that does mean, though, that the pressure is on for yep. this team to upkeep oh, yeah. with that previous uh, success. Because, again, you have the likes of FaZe, which have an extremely important task in front of them today to start climbing a lot higher. You have the likes of Northern Lights that are very close by in the yep. overall standings. And that is a team that's extremely active in general as well on the map at all times. And that is definitely a threat that you don't want to take lightly. But you know why I like Unity's story so far is because between out of these teams even though they have three sort of core members from a previous team and having a fourth member on top it does still change the overall chemistry of the team of a course. bit right because yeah. like you're playing in a slightly different environment and, and they might be even trying uh, a bit of a different approach and i consider them to be a bit of a dark horse out of these uh, 16 teams that we have playing in this event for sure just because everyone else is might not be entirely sure what they're going up against or what sort of approaches yep. they go for right yep. um, um with you and you touched upon a team there as well that uh, you mentioned how epic they are historically speaking um and and they had a really slow start but they've now kind of become i'm sorry phase have kind of become my favorite as well like like talking a little bit about them their yeah. slow start the epic comeback what do you think that that's a storyline for me to watch this week do we think that phase can actually you know string you know, string a couple of a couple of good good scores together here maybe even a w get a win well as danuk mentioned beforehand as well right when you when you are you find yourself in that position where you're chasing four points i think we're going to see a lot more aggressive phase than what we saw last week and as well like last week to be honest with you if i remember correctly most of those situations were just pretty much unfortunate they were they yep. were caught sort of in transition between locations yeah. and it just turned into into a very bad time very quickly for them so hopefully better days coming for them but True i do story. hear that the first game is on its way in a very brief moment so ladies and gentlemen make sure that you grab a seat we'll be jumping in miramar Hey, this is Danumdi, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, let's go into the game. All right, so... We have Miramar on our screens and we have a very interesting flight path yeah. here going from the upper right hand corner towards that down left and that right. is a harsh move to have and i'm very curious to see which teams are going to be taking lo which locations right now because historically you would see navi uh, going for the campo uh militar area and it looks like that is going to be the case it i believe they're going to take uh cruz de val area and, and it looks like they're stretching for that as well there game frame classically of course going for that el alzahar location it looks like nothing much has changed in that sense for win streak though as well win streak uh, chooses to go for the good old uh, impala location where they're pretty used to landing uh, so you know it, it seems like more or less overall the teams are to, are going for that first comfortable uh their own pick right nobody's really throwing out any real wild cards apart from uh is well, phase changing things up no they're they're not they still well, go for for the nuevo monte nuevo location yeah it looks as though uh like you know a mac in yeah, alcantara is where they prefer to kind of go but they're it looks as though they're kind of just uh yeah they're they're dropping straight down there 
Well, jumping in straight into the game, there's yeah. th there's no time to spare here. Now, the big question is, uh, again, how Unity will, st will start to play this out. I I'm pretty sure that they're going to start things off sl nice and slow. They want to scope out the first zone. They want to scope out where their nearest opponents are. They obviously need to have a clear uh, tactical approach in mind in terms of how they're going to rotate into the first circles. They want to find the, well, quote-unquote, safe paths, if you could say there are any on this map because uh, just because of the verticality of, verticality of the map uh, you know it does offer great scouting uh, scouting vantage points so hopefully uh, we'll see them surviving a bit more than a few circles initially because obviously the closer we get in terms of points in the overall standings the more and more interesting it becomes as well as every single kill does become more and more impactful here and I will remind you guys as well one more time so um, just before I do say that the first circle luckily doesn't include too much water here and it's uh, more towards the center part of the map focusing around Los Leones and La Bandita also Picado is in there as well so pretty pretty centric map for Navi in terms of rotations and getting into the circle no real danger apart from perhaps they might run into game frame if they choose to uh, go vertically in like that phase as well are in uh, what seems to be a relatively okay position the only thing that worries me is that if they are approaching the circle from where they're at currently they they will run into Northern Lights, and as I mentioned before, Northern Lights are a team that are looking at what's happening around them all the time. And Batulins, I mean, if he's already managed to find an Mini 14, you can expect a few shots right. going towards FaZe's way. I, I agree, man. You, you get the feeling he has already. And and look, one thing I love that, that we kind of touched upon last week, obviously there's a lot of diehard PUBG eSport viewers in the chat yep. right now. But for the uninitiated as well, you know, please explain the importance of, of what the teams are are prioritizing right now in terms of vehicles and especially loot as well. Yeah, again, so in terms of vehicles, a quick reminder for, for anyone who's uh, perhaps new to PUBG, vehicles are extremely important for you to be remaining uh, mobile around the map. The initial circles are quite big and uh, obviously you will want to avoid your uh, well, your team dying basically very quickly. So you need to have these cars, the buggies and the bikes and everything just to quickly move from location to location. You, those are also excellent scouting tools. You can just pretty much drive by. And if nobody's at shooting at you, uh, shooting at you, there is already a 50-50 chance that, you know, you're not being unless you're being baited into a location <laughs> that you'll end up doing just fine and you can pass that info on. You can see Techers here as well, just yep. doing exactly like that. Makes a quick pit stop, runs in, see if there's any perhaps DMRs are laying around because DMRs as a weapon uh, oh, yeah. is just an extremely important part here, right? It's, it's a sort of a semi-automatic sniper rifle, right. which allows you to place uh, several shots in a row. And that is especially useful against moving vehicles. But talking about Ooh. tornado energy in Istanbul, Wildcats rupture already gets a kill onto Melman. Wow. So tornado energy yep. in the overall standings currently in the 16th place. And they lose a man super early on. And that is just tragic. Now, I was I was literally just about to ask you where do you think we're gonna see our first Michael Bay, you know, action sequence explosions? Where is it? And then and they answer for us. He sent the Wildcats just taking care of business here. And it looks like Rupture is not done there as well. Make sure that he follows up on a few of those shots. He just probably wants to make sure that Tornado Energy do not set themselves up to look for some sort of form of retaliation. You can see that a Mini 14s is the preferable choice. So there is an <laughs> SLR in the hands of Clip there as well from Liquid. And, and his vantage point is pretty good as well. The house is uh, on top of a bit of a hill and it's a two-story building. So it gives you a, a lot of... Uh, you know, just clarity over uh, yep. Miramar. Yep, basically like a, like a, four, a fob forward observation base right there. Real good, real good overview. And look, man, I was gonna, I was gonna say, Team Liquid had the, uh, had the, you know, three vehicle convoy pulled up at those compounds as well. And now, um, man, Tornado Energy, a man down. A man down and, uh, and down in the standings as well. So let's just make sure, hopefully, well, we can hope that at least their cars don't get disabled, right? Because that's also one thing that these teams are trying to go for. They're trying to go for the, the tires of the vehicles to disable the car and not allow uh, for that particular team in question to move around so freely and potentially, potentially 
thus setting themselves up for failure. But Tampas here are looking to make a move on Istanbul Wildcats. Grenades already coming out here as well. Can Istanbul Wildcats hold this off? I'm not too sure if they're aware of all of, of, all of the angles. Tampas are going to be approaching this and look at those grenades. A move forward here from Tempest and Wookie gets the first kill for his team as Tempest picks up a kill point and Levent MDK is going to be out the game as well and joins Tempest's one man, uh, excuse me, not Tempest's, Tornado Energy's man uh, from the spectating point of view. So Nail up here just popping a few pills to make him feel himself better <laughs> after that brief fight. But, you know, it's a bit of a standoff between these two grenades being exchanged backwards and forwards. Utility is extremely important factor in this game as well. So you don't want to use up all of the grenades that you have. And that goes for smoke grenades as well. But, ooh, that mini 14, that was a close call. That was very close. And Wookie Bookie, my spirit animal, taking care of business there. I just want to give him a quick shout out. Yeah, look. All right, Rupture goes for, it. was that a flashbang? I think that was a smoke, so you can just quickly rotate and switch buildings. Molotovs on the ground as well. Molotov is an excellent utility tool. What a shot coming out there. Great that shot. is a, she created a headshot onto Nail Up and the car 98 does what it does best. And I mean, Tempest are still very tempted to push this one too. People into three. The Molotovs, of course, again, denying grounds to move on. If you step into that fire, you're gonna be still, uh, you know, losing health over time. In the meantime, Wookie gets another one and it is exchanges backwards and forwards here as BSD picks up the first two kills for himself there as well. And a nice start for Istanbul Wildcats. Already eliminating two players from Tempest here. Pixelic is gonna go down as well, and Nailup is last man standing. Dude, that was awesome. It's not over yet. Oh, you can see so many knocks around the board, and that is gonna be it. Istanbul Wildcats are gonna be eliminated here as Tempest are here to pick up their valuable kill points. Nailup will be able to get up Pixelic as well. Unfortunately for them, they have lost two members, but they have picked up four kills. Pretty, incre pretty incredible, pretty impressive stuff right there. I mean, that was a sustained firefight, a sustained firefight for, for a solid three minutes or so. And look at the circle here as well. The circle is concentrating closer to that Los Leones area. And I mean, if it falls towards that city, that is going to become a huge issue here. I think uh, FaZe there is in a bit of a firefight right now. Is that Omaki that they're battling with? But the FaZe are grabbing those valuable points right now, which is extremely beneficial for them. But the thing I wanted to mention here is that if it goes towards uh, Los Leones, I mean, there's just so many angles to check. That is an extremely hard location to fight we're at oh. an altar in the meantime squeaky's gone he's gone yeah ultra gets a uh, quick kill there uh, we actually managed to knock him out of the car as well so that's a free vehicle they can switch into as well there you go that was that was the the cruelest of touchdown passes right there Red line now going up against win streak. QB has managed to already pick up a kill for him. Ivas follows up with the finisher there. Let's see. Ivis. Yeah, it looks like win streak are just, they, they have no option. They can't really fight. Yeah. This is two, two buildings taken here. And you know, you can't really even recover the utility that your teammate had there. In the meantime, Combot looks like has managed to scout out two of the Blaze players here. Needs to be careful though, and needs to run away with that SKS in hand. <laughs> Because, you know, one against two, and if your location is known, it doesn't look like well, he has, the team is not far off, roughly 200 meters behind him. So, I mean, Compat here is doing work in terms of scouting, in terms of understanding which buildings are taken or no, gets tags in as well. So damaging their opponent's armors, taking away that valuable utility that allows you to stay alive already very early on in the game phase two is on its way and it's still a minute and a half before the circle closes off that was pretty awesome watching him just just hold that hill pound pound the opponents from afar very very cool and the sks can be quite punishing oh, it, yeah. it feels like it has even almost like stopping rounds at times because it can stop you dead in its tracks especially if you throw like a silencer or a compensator on that thing look you're gonna have a bad time trying to run around senior in the meantime has managed to pick up an slr for himself he has 
a few of those grenades in his pocket as well, but probably going to be saving that for the latter stages of the game. Now, in terms of Navi last week, I mean, we saw moments of brilliance and moments of not necessarily question mark, but you would, ex would have expected a bit of a higher performance coming out of from them. And I mean, it looks like everyone is pretty interested in uh, becoming a bit more aggressive this week. You can yeah. see Senya there going as well, as I mentioned, for those tires. So right? denying movement around the map for the other teams. Definitely. Don D was right. We're seeing the aggression here this is yeah there's something in the water everyone's a little angry i don't know maybe all the players were caught in caught in peak hour traffic on the way home tonight yeah getting angry out here well kemba as well don't mind kemba as ents now have managed to find game frame here a single player in either of the buildings there on a two against three you have backup coming in in the form of techers Still in a vehicle, and he's being shot at as well right now. So even he needs to find a safe location where to disembark from the vehicle. But is N ready for a push here? They don't know Ultra's location. He finds a kill from the sideline there. An excellent pickup for game frame and probably ruins Ents' plans right now because it's two against two and the backup is on its way as well. Techers is going to be providing cover fire and Ents really can't push this now. That was fantastic there from Ultra. And see, we are. here's Tixu. It's got to be... <gasps> The grenade pickup on Diggory as well, and this is just becoming better and better for Game Frame. Ends now with a single man standing. Diggory is probably going to be finished off, and that is Ivas joining the battle from a distance. There just gets to grab a quick kill point for his team. Tixu, last man standing, he can just. Well, I mean, his best option is to hope that they have forgotten about him, but. Obviously, due to the fact that he deployed that smoke there, it's just probably a matter of time before he gets taken out. The question is, how many players can he take with him? That's it. And the answer is zero. <laughs> zero because, you know, grenades have a pretty decent area of effect. They do. Damage, you know, so... Uh, and, and rightly so, it's a very correct choice yeah. from game frame if you know that you can secure a kill with a grenade and not like ruin your yeah. armor and not approach the player close and not run the risk then rightly do so but the third phase is on our screens most of the teams are in northern lights are going to be approaching closely behind uh team liquid and team liquid as well they need to be wary of the fact that there might be a team coming in from behind even though they are closer to that more narrow uh, gaming game field before the phase closes off, right? So you, you, you ideally you would think that you are safe there, and there is a bit of a brawl now happening right. between TSM and Team Liquid. Liquid. Clip does yeah. manage to take down Miracle here. Another knock comes through as Bard pick up picks up Clib. And it looks like FaZe, as I said last week, they managed to secure the victory on that first game, and they are in a pretty okay fight right now to see if they can repeat their success. Iroh, Iroh somehow burned down Miracle, and that is a deny on the kill. They probably just realized that they cannot pick him up and they want to deny any kill points around. But if it was a mistake, that is tragic. Fex and Vard in the meantime do manage to kill off Jeeves and Pitki. A Spyro does get bored here and a return fire from Northern Lights as they join the fight here. Team Liquid, TSM, Northern Lights all battling it out right now. TSM only has a single member alive in the form of Fex. Everyone else is gone. Iroh is bleeding out and Ibiza will manage to get deep out of the game for now. Let's see if they can get him back on his feet. Dude, that was awesome as well, Ira. You you gotta feel. I mean, that that's an awkward moment in Teamspeak, right? When when you when look, you look accidentally Unity murdered your Unity joins in as well on the fight. <laughs> so Team Liquid now are just thinking, how did this turn from a fight with TSM now into a fight with also Northern Lights, and you have Unity joining in on the fight. Spyro finishes off things with a nice grenade on top, and it looks like finishing people with grenades is the name of the game today, right? Yeah, lots of, lots of, they're, they're playing catch out there, and it's not very pleasant. <laughs> it's, no, it's, definitely it's, not. <laughs> I mean, Fex obviously is on a mission right now to stay alive because they're, it's, it's beneficial for him in the terms that so many teams have joined this fight right now, either albeit being directly or from afar. He does reveal his position and takes a shot as well, so he needs to make sure he's going to be staying alive here because, I mean, still, 
if even if you're last man standing, you can still secure some very valuable points. The next circle is on the board here as well, and it's out in the open. Oh, this is going to be a tough battle to fight. Gameframe already has established the position, which is happy days for them, but pretty much for everyone else, like in, in such an open field, it is going to be extremely difficult to expect to see a lot of utility being used. A lot of Van Gogh haystacks. It's going to get interesting out there. Absolutely. And this is, hey, where, where a vehicle may actually come in handy, right? I mean, can you, can you, see, can you see guys intentionally taking out their own wheels, using those vehicles as cover? At this point in time, that is definitely a possibility. The question is, though, can they even drive in safely in that location? Fuzzface, in the meantime, has found Pixelic, and that will mean that Tempus is eliminated here. Clip now continuing with his rampage and, well, pretty much disturbing Northern Lights' plans, because which they are currently third in the overall standings, and Spyro will be taken out of the game. And I mean, Spyro has been a key player there, so Perfectix last man standing for Northern Lights. They have three kill points already in this first game. He's expecting for the push to come through. Obviously, they're trying to push two players against one and trying to go for a bit of a different approach here. Oh. The knock goes through, but the trade is good, so a quick pickup is required unless the zone finishing off. But Fex comes in, <laughs> and he's a single man to put an end to Northern Lights. Gets on the bike, gets through the zone, can even even has time to uh, change into a car. And I believe he has enough time also to uh, move if he okay. wants. Okay. okay, Fex, beautiful performance, outstanding, and I hope he survives here. But he, he had an opportunity there on the motorbike to be a true action yeah. hero. I just want to point that out, but he went for the station wagon. So, you know... Um, tornado, tornado energy here as well, slightly hiding below the cliff here. I'm not too sure if... I'm, I'm, uh, you know what, I'm pretty sure they're aware of the fact that Tornado, uh, that phase is just above that hill and probably that's why they're hiding because it's extremely difficult to peek downwards in this game. Firstly, because you're exposing so much of your body to everyone yep. else. There's not really any safe rocks you can look at. You, you, obviously, um, the players are aware that from Tornado Energy that they have been spotted. So three smokes have been deployed in order for example to fall back here. Let's see if we can do so safely. Fuzzface is still keeping an eye on this. And more smokes coming out from the team to make sure they can establish a safe pathway for them. And the first shots are coming through as Fuzzface with a headshot will be put to his knees. And in the blue zone, he doesn't have much time in terms of surviving here. He will be finished off. Gusta with the grenade though might find some decent damage. Gets even a knock. Let's see if he can follow up on that. Molotov's going through as well. Gustav changing positions here not to take any return fires so far. AT as well, not far here. And they have a very good chance to eliminate Tornado Energy, but Windstreak comes in with the flank and Tornado Energy will be eliminated. Gustav, Gustav has managed to uh, take down Wanderer there, so he will be finished off actually by Techers from Game Frame, which are still making great use of the DMRs that they've picked up earlier there. Tekker's doing well, but Maxi Yor there. Wow, that was pretty epic. Great going there. It's been a lot of grenades. It's been a lot of grenades, and well, FaZe are picking up those important points. What a push from Gustav. Fantastic. And this is a highlight, the level of play, the level of confidence that you need to have, the mechanics that you need to know to just be able to single-handedly, basically, push in, take win streak out, and now look at the trouble that they're having. Techers is still a complete menace for FaZe right now. They need to get off from that high ground. But the problem is there's not enough cover. And they've lost their vehicles. Gustav now even finds oh, Fex. Fex. So Fex's hero plays beforehand while they are paying dividends. Unfortunately, those have stopped at least for this round. As he will uh, be taken out. And Gustav oh. himself as well dies to the zone. Uh, a bit of uh, irony, I believe, there. Oh, God. Oh, no. He, he was really killing it there. All right. So let, looking at this circle, Unity, as I mentioned in the beginning, they have been playing safe so far. They've joined a few fights, an extremely important time for them now. Their positioning is great the, in terms of scout, scouting out information. The question is what mm -hmm. will happen with the next circle? Because in this one, they can pretty much just stay put, make sure they're not being pushed into. They'll have a great view as to where these teams are. But because like, well, pretty much half of this circle already is like out in the open, uh, you, you are, I mean, 
mean, expect a lot of kills coming through within the next two minutes or so. Navi are still noticeably with four members alive, and they have been notoriously good at that. Definitely. Keeping, keeping the posse whole, absolutely pretty, pretty important at this stage right here. Um, and I feel like these vehicles are going to come in super handy in terms of the cover. And then, and then it's really, you know, it's, it's a game of cat and mouse, isn't it? Expose your position to take out the vehicles or, or, or just stay alive as well. Oh. Beat your poison. Blaze does manage to get two kills there. Even the third as well from Michael. Uh, oh, excuse me, that's Redline picking one in return. So a lot of losses on both sides here right now for Blaze and Redline. Look at those dead bodies laying around. Rip, uh, Rip Nine's loot can be looted as well. It's not in the blue zone. So a bit of extra utility can be picked up for this next phase. Phase number six and only with 20 seconds remaining, the teams need to quickly decide how they're going to play this out. Compot obviously aware of the fact that two Blaze players are in front of him. He's just making sure that he's staying out of the line of sight of them. And uh, I mean, the only option for Blaze right now is either to push into Unity or to go towards that right hand side which i believe they should have scoped out in terms of availability but then again you are leaving your backs exposed to red line between a rock and a hard place here and unity are keen to push this and rightly so they need kill points right now because co in combination with placement points and kill points that is oh. the thing that you want to have to establish your position dex has just had a, a he's just down himself from falling and then and Jemty's actually finished him off there Oh, and then Paige is also... Oh. Well, Shiv has managed to find the AWM, so that's it's probably the all uh, kicking off. biggest gun in the game in terms of stopping power that you can pick up. We'll be sure to follow on his accuracy with it. In the meantime, though, Lipson does a spot, a comp out there just behind the rock, tries to put a grenade in the place to... Uh, right behind his uh, back here, Lipson not over peeking and rightly so, playing the headshot angle there, meaning exposing only his head, so minimizing the amount of incoming damage potentially though. But you know, as, as I said before, Blaze are sort of stuck in, in no man's land in between two teams. Unity are not taking their eyes off. In the meantime, Monkey from Raise Your Edge has managed to eliminate one more team out of this. So we have six teams remaining there and Michael now now has spotted one of the Blaze players. That's exactly what I was talking about. Blaze need to be super careful, but luckily for them, Michael takes a few shots and is forced to sit down. In the meantime, though, uh, Blaze will lose one of their players. Laza is going to be on the ground, and Blaze Esports are going to be eliminated. There they go. Compot puts an end to them. In the meantime, though, Redline have spotted out Navi, and Senya will be taken out of the game. But look at this, they're, Unity are whole, they're whole as well, all four members, oh, this is, this is turning into an epic final, let's go. Unity are in the, well, are running basically for $5,000 in this first pro sessions and they'll have another chance in September in two more weeks uh, to pick up a following once if they can. Orange in the meantime puts a headshot into a raise uh, your edges line so let's see if they if he is safe sort of so they can try and go for a pickup there's a lot of smokes being deployed as well and it's pretty risky to push through smokes so razor edge are quickly trying to pick up this player so they can move backwards allow him to heal up and not die to any potential incoming grenades but orange is keen to push here flashbangs coming through the razor edge are trying to prevent the push of coming in there's going to be a follow-up flashbang as well and let's see if they will push orange here because three three players alive for navi no kills they are desperate to pick up kill points looks, if they can looks as though they're bugging out oh god no no they've just moved the car they've kept the car they've been so tactical here mate well the blue zone is going to hurt like hell right now and uh, orange needs to make a move he's trying to come in from behind him to raise your edge players but he's gonna be so at it and that is going to be very quickly navi out of the game you have the last four teams on your screens right now ladies and gentlemen that is raise your edge with three players alive unity currently leading in the standings and with four players alive Redline, three players alive, and Omakan with two players of their own. Redline has 
struggling slightly right now with Marv being on the ground, but it looks like Ivis will be able to revive him. So still not out of the game completely. Udir, though, will be found and very quickly Unity eliminate Raise Your Edge and they're just racking up kills right now. Four kills for them. And in terms of placement, at least third place already guaranteed in this first game. Page in the meantime has managed to find Michael and this is just better and better news for Unity. If these two teams are fighting between themselves, Unity just needs to heal up and jump in on the action once everyone is low and damaged. Well, Mackin are, are forcing the issue here. Two teammates falling. Oh, there goes one. Paige is ruthless and poor Marv is gone. Marv is just... You know, he, he did everything he could, but unfortunately, there's just so much you can do until teams start to finish you off. Page in the meantime, though, st doing an excellent job in terms of staying alive. Hyman has managed to find Michael there as well, so finishing him off. So it looks like Redline will be eliminated here. And Unity, of course, have a huge advantage right now. Two players from Mackin, one player from Redline, and a full team from Unity. <gasps> one of them has been spotted. A headshot, I believe, did go through there. So he will be instantly pushed into healing. But Paige is very wary of the fact that uh, Redline, uh, one of the last uh, Redline players might come in pushing from behind. The grenade came through as well, so Paige knows his location roughly. And I was just trying to do an amazing job of staying alive, but not enough as Hyman will find yet another kill for himself. So it is the last two teams in the first game in the second week of PUBG Pro Sessions with Printify are Unity and Omaken. And look how spread out they are here, mate. They're completely, completely spread out. This is... This is an interesting tactic. If I'm can pull this off, this is this is legendary. Well, Unity are doing a great job of playing this one out in pairs, but however, Genty has managed to find Compa there. Horizon, uh, Horizon is able to return the favor, and there is a single player from Macken alive. And I mean, what can you do against this uni Unity team right now? They have managed to rack up seven kills already in this first game, and it looks like. They are on the way to establish themselves as solid leaders, at least so far in these PUBG Pro sessions. Inspired performance here. Inspired. I think I think they're feeling it. GMT finds Hiruzen. He will be brought back to life. So still it's one against three. The next phase oh, uh, oh. is going to be on the board here, which is pretty <laughs> much just like, you know, uh, the last stand, so Gemti needs to come up with a plan quickly if he can. He's going to be using all of the utility he has, which is still plenty. Using flashbangs, he needs to start to eliminate these players one by one. <laughs> a lot of grenades <laughs> being used, and oh my god, does he have even what he does? He still has two more Molotovs of smoke and two grenades. And <laughs> I mean, obviously... Has he not seen him? You, well, it, it's a bit, a bit of a different point of view for the players in the game, just course, for observing reasons. The smoke is a bit transparent, so Jimmy is unaware of the fact the player is into smoke, and Unity is going to be your first winners. Hey, this is Danumdi, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, back to the studio. Well, talk about a perfect day for Unity. I mean, we... we Inspired. I, I'll be honest. You know, you, you see this a lot sometimes when, when a team that you might not necessarily expect to be leading the overall standings uh, to follow up on that success. But you can definitely tell that Unity have done their homework. They've done their research. They have done their talks about how they want to approach this game and it's exactly as we mentioned right they they waited out the first three four phases made sure that they're not running into any unnecessary fights without taking any early risks getting themselves I believe it was around the time that they were like the eighth ninth uh, position in from the teams that were still alive at that point in time is when they started to join these battles and they started safe as well they started from a distance they yep. made sure they're just grabbing anything that they can easy kills easy pickups 
get there slowly, make sure that your team is staying alive. And I mean, look, I mean, you surely have a few words to say about uh, this. I, first of all, dude, it's awesome. I did, honestly, I think what we're looking at here is is the word momentum. The big yes. mo. They're playing inspired. You know, I, I'm not sure if they're playing inspired or like demonic possession is going on here and we need to call the Vatican. Something is happening though. Otherworldly. <laughs> this is an otherworldly performance from a team that was put together two days before. That's the big storyline. Two, two days, days before last week. Two days before last week, before this before this tournament kicked off. And they're, they're out here, like, kicking butt, taking names. I'm very, very impressed. Big names. Big they're names. taking big names Huge off the names. board. And look, th this, this just goes to show that in terms of analyzing your own play, you can do so much and just realizing where you are right now in, in, in time, what does this mean in relation to other teams and so on, right? But, okay, enough about Unity. We saw a few <laughs> more interesting uh, plays happening there. Unfortunately, I don't uh, cannot really pinpoint right now what happened to FaZe, but yet again, somewhere around the mid part of the game, it's, it seems yep. that just like overall rotations are pretty unlucky for them right now. They tend to be found out and and Look, RNG, the, RNG is a cruel mistress, right? In any game, but of course PUBG it can just take you that way. I I, I think that uh, the, the big key takeaway from, from that match right there, the first mirror mirror, yeah. oh my god, grenades. Grenades well, galore. Exactly. Well, let's not uh, draw anything from our imagination. We do have the after game standing. So match results on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. First take, take place taken by Unity, as mentioned before. Eight kills and 10 uh, placement points as well for them. Second take place taken by Red Line. And I mean, again, an amazing job at staying alive. Omak and Sports definitely have moved up in terms of pace. Phase yep. did uh, close out at fourth place, and just off the back of Gustav's, I yep. would say, insane carry <laughs> of the team, he he like blew out a full blast team on his own, and just a bit of uh, unfortunate events in terms of uh, how much damage does the zone deal. Fifth and sixth place in this match was for Erase Your Edge and Team Liquid, respectively. There, seventh and eighth for Game Frame and Tempest, and I like the fact that we see Tempest there. Yeah, definitely. So then back the back eight here. Uh, Northern Lights with four points, Blaze Esports four, Isambul Wildcats with three, TSM with three. That's a yeah. little, and Navi as well, both with three. That's a bit of a surprise there. Uh, Wind Streak two, Tornado Energy two, and Ants. You don't like to see it. It's a it's a nice round number. Put your head through it. Zero, and then of course player statistics. Well, Gustav rightly so currently with 496 damage dealt, four kills to his name, an amazing performance coming out of him. Hopefully uh, that is uh, going to be an inspiration for his team there as well to follow up on his success. Uh, second place team Liquid Clib, then followed by, by Gemti. Ivas is there too. Two Unity members in fifth and sixth position. Yeah, and, and it bears mentioning that Nixties is going to have the bounty on his head in the next round. Okay, so Next is uh, more than ever is going to try and <laughs> stay alive. Seventh place by Fex and his hero play doing the best out of a bad situation. Uh, obviously, it results in the seventh place right now. And of course, you still have the eighth place taken by Tempest Nalem. Right. Well, the overall standings currently are looking like this. So Unity solidifying their first position with 57 points. Raise your edge due to the amount of kills they have managed to obtain and a few placement points as well in this first game in the second place right now. Third place, still solidly held by Northern Lights. 40 points to them, 17 points behind the leader. And again, I believe in these guys that we're going to see a lot more interesting stuff coming out of them. Omakin Sports turning up the pace, 38 points for them, only two points behind Northern Lights, and it's not like they cannot ruin the fun for them. Uh, fifth place, taken by Red Line, and well, just pretty much off the back of that second position right now. Uh, that was uh, definitely an excellent, uh, excellent news for them. TSM... Well, you're not really used to saying that they're in sixth place for the most part, right? So right. for for TSM, uh, you know, just I think it was unlucky for them because they got caught out by so many teams at that point. You know, you, you can't really hope for a better result at that stage. Seventh place, Team Liquid, and eighth place uh, taken by a Belize Esports. Thirty right. points. And then the eight. back eight here, uh, Navi with 27. Phase climbing though, climbing yeah, yeah. still still intent though. Still in 10th position with 26 points, so they're winning the touching distance right here. Game frame, 21. Assemble Wildcats, 20. 
Ants 19, Tempest 19, Wind Streak 15, and Tornado Energy still at the bottom there. Yeah, an unlucky streak for Tornado Energy. Let's see if uh, they can uh, well bring a bit more to the table. I mean, look, for guys that have been previously so successful in some of these PCS events, you would expect a bit of a different result. And again, I feel like I'm siding a bit more now towards the, the part that I'm lucky. Like, they were found very yep. early in the game and uh, very quickly were eliminated yet again. So you're just forced to just sit on the silence and think like, well, th did we really do something wrong or is it just a matter of circumstance? Right. They did go for more familiar dropping positions, so perhaps they would like to explore... Some new positions on the map, you know, it can't hurt at this point. Uh, I, I, and see if they can try a different angle of approach, literally, on the I, compass. I got to agree with you. And and look, look Donok D nailed it. You nailed it. Uh, we spoke pre-stream. pre, pre -stream. Teams are being more aggressive out there. And that's, For that's, sure. like, that's what I like to see. They, they are, like, they might not necessarily be, be changing up their... Their drop locations, however, they are definitely rotating a little bit more aggressively, and you absolutely love to see that. And look, a couple of mentions there. We mentioned Gustav and his push, but also, what about Fex ninjaing in there to finish off two teams? And then I, I, I was told by one of the observers that actually the bike he jumped on was missing a tire. So, yes, oh. I, I gave him a hard time for picking the, uh, the sedan over the motorcycle because i always want to see that you know well you that know, action hero moment one but of still. the reasons why you want to go for a motorcycle in that situation <laughs> is the top speed of the thing and the way how it accelerates is a lot better in those situations if you want to try and make for a quick getaway but you're extremely exposed on it as well so there's like a few they're the you know, pros and as cons everything pros and cons yeah, pros exactly. and cons the, the biggest pro being star points though which of course is important <laughs> to me so um look uh, i just I, I also want to put like navi seemed to be whole for the entire yes. time and then they just got liquefied there that was pretty intense but unity they're inspired they're inspired something something in the water there team unity well i think this is the perfect amount of 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 mix in terms of playing safe and playing dangerous that comes to them and to be honest in my in my opinion they really shouldn't change anything in terms of their approach yeah the way how this yeah. game went and the way how they approached this game yep. is exactly the way how you want to play it out in uh well play it out today because and and, and again to mention on the fact that w well, the aggressiveness coming out from the other teams, that is exactly the reason why. But I do believe that we have ma game number two on the way, so we'll be back shortly. Hey, this is Danum D, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, let's go into the game. I completely agree, Dan D. Let's go into the game. A pretty much the map is being split in half by that flight path, so expect an even spread here. I presume yep. most teams will go for the same landing locations. Let's see what Tornado Energy decides to do here. Will they go for their uh, classical approach of going slightly bottom left from Los Leones, or will they go for a different location? Navi, do, do go for that early jump, and I think La Cobriera is their preferred choice of location as per usual, so most likely you'll see those players staying alive because, of course, being very familiar with your landing locations uh, does help out immensely here. Unity as well, not switching up, staying with San Martin and uh, staying near close by. I, I mean, San Martin, because it's so close to the center of the map, is a beneficial area to take in general if you want to stay in the first circles, and that's exactly what they want to do, right? They don't want to take any of these risks. They don't want to have, um, you know, any any unwanted moving around the map. But, of course, as always, it all comes down to the very first circle that we're going to see. So, uh, first loot already in the pockets of these players. A bit of a... Pretty standard, really. Standard start, as they say. However, if I mean, if this first circle includes a lot of water, that will be probably a complete 
stick in the wheels of a unity and th that would mean that they would have to move out of that san martin area uh but uh yeah let's see phase one on the way in two minutes and 45 seconds and speaking about and and this is where we finally get to bring up one of my favorite story yes, lines, please. the bounty okay exactly. and the bounty is on nick's tees here from Unity, okay, so th this this has been one of the more dynamic and, and, in my humble opinion, like fun elements of the PUBG Pro Sessions. And the fact that if you kill the bounty player, you get four points. And look at this. Look at this circle. Who's got the toughest rotation here, mate? Well, the toughest rotation <laughs> here, I would say, probably will be <laughs> currently for a Makin because it's just the longest way to go. Navi, of course, are celebrating. Same as Game Frame. <laughs> Phase as well are in a very good position because, like, they... they generally tend to go for that area <laughs> right so th they're obviously as well familiar with how many teams are <laughs> around them right now if they want yeah. to go for an even safer location that will be heading uh, towards the top left corner of uh, that circle and just observing everything from afar unity I, I like and dislike their position i like the fact that they're of course in the circle they can just pretty much remain in houses and and land any shots to any uh passers by however if they are forced to move or um, and if they choose the wrong time for it they might end up with a team backstabbing them now northern lights again positioning themselves in the hills and are inside the circle does mean that they'll be able to get that early information and uh, that will provide them with a lot of uh, thoughts in terms of how they can advance how they can rack up more uh points for their team because again they're not that far off 17 i believe was uh, the amount of points that they're far but uh, how far they are behind in terms of uh being behind unity and so tell me look where are we going to see you know i want the action all right yeah, I, yeah. where uh, where are we going to see our hollywood moment our action our first our first action right here do, do we think do we think someone hangs around to try and pick up or mac in and pick up the stragglers well, for for anyone really with a circle like this, it, it's, you know, I'm going to say that the first action is going to be even somewhere out of this circle for sure, because there's just so many rotations to be done. Yeah. Most of the teams still need to make it to the circle. So I believe Team Liquid for sure are going to run into someone because Tempest is close by, Northern Lights is in front of them, <laughs> Unity to the right, uh, Istanbul Wildcats to the left. There's not much wiggle room, and same goes for Ents as well. They somehow need to navigate their way. Uh, Squish Kick might be able to uh, provide some valuable information in because he's in a pretty decent position to scout out uh, what's in front of him, and most likely because he won't spot too many people, at least there's some sort of pathway for them available. Um, Tornado Energy have slightly moved in their terms of their position, so they're taking the top of the hills and securing themselves there as well. And, and I mean, in, in PUBG in general, if you can hold on to hills, that is a very valuable, valuable position just yep. because it's extremely dangerous to climb hills not knowing what's behind it and, and you can just run into a full team we do have an airdrop on the way as well that is going to drop in el pozo there let's, we go let's uh have a gawk and, um, and i mean and uh, let's 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 yeah. take this moment to remind all the viewers as well we've got our own we've got our own airdrops going as well in terms of giveaways in chat just be active in chat and you could get yourself PUBG and print by t-shirts you're getting one of each Amazing stuff, so make sure you grab those goodies. MK14, speaking of goodies, in the <laughs> yeah. airdrop there. Oh. So <laughs> happy days for anyone who picks it up. An extremely valuable gun, I would say. Team Liquid uh, eager to at least stop at the gas station, see oh. if they can find a bit more. But the shots. first kills and shots yeah, are already Lazo. starting to come through. Yeah, Aduzi taking down Lazar there. Finally, some action. This is what we want. Apocalypse. Mini 14 and shots on the way as well. Razor Edge needs to be careful there. They are. They need to make sure that they stay alive in this fight. They don't want to overstay in, in, in their welcome in this one. Obviously being high in the overall standings right now. It is extremely important as uh, same for Unity to stay alive as many members as you possibly can. That is your top priority at least until you break in the top 10. Once you break in the top 10 teams are still remaining alive. That's really where you want to start to look for real opportunities of joining the fight and speaking about real opportunities Aww. it looks like phase have found their first
first as Fuzzface in single-handedly eliminates one of the Istanbul Wildcats players there. So uh, first kill picked up for FaZe in this game. And, and I like the fact that we can start mentioning them more yep. and more here up in terms of picking up kills. And rightly so as well, because you see for FaZe, because it is a, a, a climbing story in terms of uh, chasing those points right now, that's why they're starting those fights nice and early with all 16 teams still alive. Definitely. Fuzzface, such a family-friendly name, but he's a stone-cold murderer. you got to be careful when it comes to him. But yeah, I love that we're mentioning it. I love, the, I love that they're, they're, I mean, come on, that they're our Disney story. Fuzzface, great name for a Disney movie as well, by the way. So so look, this, this I, I'm copywriting the rights there. Um, this could, this could be their, their map right here. Uba has a slice, a headshot, and deep instantly is going to be knocked. Uba looking Uba. for some sort of angle to follow up. He sees the teammate coming in for a <laughs> potential revive. And that's why the bike is a nice uh, tool to have in your uh, pocket, right? It moves so fast, it's hard to lay on those shots. Uh, the teammate does recognize that there is players. Uh, uh, yeah, FaZe is moving up to hey. finish off the kill so deep. I'm sorry, but like you're, you're not going to be making this one, buddy. Oh, dude, I get the feeling he's going to be, you know, on a couch telling a, a therapist about this moment sometime in the future. That is just unfortunate. There I was. Abandonment issues galore. Are you kidding me? That poor guy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Batulin's still eager to respond <laughs> with the favor yep. uh, from, from Northern Lights <laughs> of their own, but he needs to be careful here. He's uh, slightly exposing himself. He does uh, have a bit of a ridge to play with there. No rocks, no real cover, but FaZe as well. Same goes for them. They don't want to be backstabbed here. I believe they have spotted out Red Line close by as well. And uh, Gustav gets QB down on the ground. Gustav, Can they find more? The hero of, of the first map coming through here. It's Batulin's over. We shouldn't be too worried about him. He can handle himself. Got a kind of John Wick vibe going on there. Phase. Oh. oh Perfect. Perfect. joins in here. So a valuable pickup coming out. Uba for sure will not survive this 8C. Peeking over the edge there. Can't really do much because Marv is hiding in between buildings. Clip finished off Uba there. Yeah. Gustav got Marv. A nice Just, knock on yeah. to Gustav, from, from Gustav there, excuse me. So two players from red line now down on the ground. Michael, as always, looking to see if he can find the best angle there, and he finds the player here. <laughs> Gustav just over eager right now. He will be finished off, but AD does find Michael. So uh, uh, absolutely devastating news for Red Line now. Right now, they only have a single player left alive. FaZe are picking up valuable points, even though they did lose Gustav along the way. He did a um, tremendous job last game, and the remaining players yeah. are doing uh, what they can to upkeep with his. And while fate. that was kicking off, their spar took out Mob as well. So. Ooh. Yeah, I Ivas doesn't really have that many options right now with 40 health remaining, <laughs> using the last card that he has and just like bailing out. This, this, this is exactly like last week. Remember Ivas and here's our bounty. Having a look at our bounty. Ivas last week having to creep in around the edge of the circle, surviving for so long. He's about to do his best best impersonation of himself right there. Oh dear, trying to land as many shots as well as he possibly can. He hears the Machin players behind him and he finds himself in no man's land, just pretty much exposed to anyone who tries to peek over that ledge. Uh, Jeans tries to make it to the small compound, has a bit of a cover to work with, spots one of the Northern Lights players. That is Batulin's hiding behind here. He does get a kill on to Mixi. Tulins, can he do more here? James keen to join to find two players from Team Liquid are down on the ground. Both IVs and Mixi can be picked up theoretically in practice. It's going to be a lot more difficult with now Northern Lights, but Tulins pushing ever so close. So I don't think James expects this. Now he hears him. 35 health remaining as Clib will uh, get a knock on to Spyro. So Clib still managing to pick. A kill up right now. James struggling to stay alive. He's going to be forced to use these flashbangs just so he can grab a bit more time. Cliff does manage to finish Spyro off. Batulins gets a rid of uh, James there. So Team Liquid, a slightly devastating news right now as Perfectix and Batulins both have secured the small compound area, picking up those two kills for Northern Lights. And Northern Lights, again, valuable points obtained. But in the meantime, Istanbul Wildcats is going to be the first team that's getting eliminated. Poor Istanbul Wildcats. There we go. Yeah, and rough run. Yeah, rough. And I can't, I, I can't believe this, this vehicle is still intact. It must have had, uh, what, three grenades thrown at it? 
Here we go. And here's Fuss Face. So five kills already for FaZe, and that is an extremely important point to get very early on. Now they should be th focusing a bit more in terms of placements. They would ideally like to disengage now from these fights. Most of the teams are inside. You can see that win streak are approaching. Ents is in the mix there as well to get into the circle. In terms of positioning, TSM, it looks like, are on a pre in, in a pretty decent position. They do have game frame close by. Ents now uh, still have uh, yet to pick up a kill. Somewhere along the lines, Degree has lost a bit health, but nothing too critical as Phase 2 is closing off. Only 20 seconds remaining there. And Kleb now still eager to see if he can uh, kill one of these two Phase players. Very, very of the <laughs> fact that they are still alive, still close by, and an extremely important task on Clip's shoulders right now. Yes, he has two kills, and the only two kills this uh, team has picked up so far in game number two of Miramar. And Clip. I mean, they must, they're aware he's there, right? We came to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, they, they're aware of each other for sure. And, and, but look, I mean, chat are always going crazy. They love Clip. You know, they love him. So he, I think he might be able to handle this. This is going to be a big test for FaZe right here. Big test indeed. The next circle slightly harsh on win streak and Blaze as well as Omak and sport, yeah, uh, Sports there as well. And AC is going to be picked up as uh, Pixelic oh. joins the fight and FaZe is going to be eliminated as the 15th team. It's like, God. I, dude, I totally called it. Clip, Clip just went absolutely mental right there. That was, that was brilliant. There we go. I mean, he, this is why chat love him. Chat's probably going mental right now. If I face palmed because of the, that <laughs> turn of events, I'm sure that some of the face players are doing so as well, yep. realizing that at least this first session is go. starting to run out of their grasp. In the meantime, though, Navi find a very valuable pickup in the form of Bard, but Iro very quick on the return. Now, is who's that approaching? That is Besto coming in from behind. He might find two of these TSM players, spots them out, is going to be using the grenade, times it as well. This is going to be devastating for them. Gets the spray down, but Alie joins in from Tornado Energy oh. and finishes Besto off, essentially saving the lives of TSM. <laughs> so even though Iro was knocked by the grenade, he will be picked up right now. And Navi, just like Besto, is probably thinking, what the hell just happened? Yeah. He definitely, that that was surprise. The look of surprise right there. Yeah, the tab has been picked up. Navi is not out of the woods just yet. Fex is very aware of the fact of how close these players are. And now Miraku joins the fight. A pincer movement coming out towards Navi. And one of the players is going to be on the ground. Fex will be able to get a kill onto Senya as well. Fex again is last man standing for TSM. As Pushkin is going to join the fight. And TSM is going to be eliminated as 14th team right now. Uh, it's Hello? crazy. It's crazy. It's all kicking I'm, off. I'm, I'm throwing like any predictions about the big guys out the window. <laughs> and meanwhile, if I'm not mistaken, I think Unity is still whole. Unity oh, for sure, for sure. protecting that bounty are still whole. Um, and my God, I mean, I, a quick reminder: if if uh, Nixtus is not eliminated, he's going to be securing those four uh, tournament points for his team on his yeah. own, as well as a bit of cash on top as well. Was that the AWM there? Uh, no, I that was Groza. That was oh, a Groza. Groza. Apologies. Yeah, it's, Groza. I'm yeah. getting old. You see, I can't that's, see. Uh, yeah. I need glasses like you, old no, man that, glasses. That's, that's all right, Sonny. Don't worry. Um, yes, excellent. And All right, phase it? three, 10 oh. seconds remaining before the phase closes off here. Unity need to make a move. They're slightly stuck between two teams. Game frame do manage to kill off Hyman, so that's one player lost. And Unity Nixis now needs to make a quick move. He is moving with the vehicle, so luckily he'll be able to cross the street there unless Omakin can do something about it. This is... That. Look, there's four teams there with a tough rotation, right? There's something is going to give. Something's going to give on, on, on the west side of that circle right there. This is this is about to 
Yep, oh, Shiv has spotted out one of the Omakin players. The grenade is good to push him out of position. And th that leaves uh, Shiv in, in a position where he can back off safely right now and rejoin with his team. And he needs to make a move quickly. Team Liquid, in the meantime, is going to be eliminated. That was LEA finding that final kill onto Clib. In the meantime, Compot has found Lipson. So I believe only a single player from Blaze is still alive. And Game Frame is fixating on his location as well. So chances yep. are Blaze are not going to be making it into the next uh, circle. Unity's position is in in one way not bad. They're playing from a ditch, right? So they have sort of cover and, and headshot angles to play with, but the big danger is that they can be seen from above. Exactly. And they, and, and they that's have the bounty. the bounty on them. They are the leaders in the overall standing. So anyone who tries... <gasps> that's team damage. That is team damage. And there we go. That's, that's one of the first hiccups we've seen. And there we go. That's my Michael Bay moment. Just your classic exploding flipping car. But uh, Game Frame have a fantastic position overlooking that ditch right now, right, mate? I mean, I, I wonder if Game Frame identified that that is the bounty as well. Are they going to go ham pushing this? What would you do, V? Well, it's it, that's the thing, right? It, pushing into a ditch where Unity is like right now is extremely dangerous because there's no other way than Unity can headshot angle PQ and they're going to see like your full body exposed if you try to push them. So the only way to do that is with grenades. The question is, do, does Game Frame have any remaining? I mean, I see a Molotov, I see smokes, but not grenades in hand, and they're trying to pick up uh, some of the Omakin players, but they might be doing Unity a favor by doing this because essentially they're keeping unity alive right now either for themselves unaware of the fact that uh, they are there but i'm pretty sure they know that the the bounty player is there so they're just keeping them for dessert that's it so game frame are basically saying that's going to be our kill and they're trying to dictate when exactly and finally picking up a kill for their team so happily they are putting themselves on the board and Starting the gradual climb there, Ali A in the meantime finds even one of the uh, red line plans, and coincidentally, that was the last one. I was last man standing up before after that incredibly intense brawl before. Sad face, sad face. I, I you know, I'm oh, for him. okay. So this, I mean, this is an extremely difficult position for Razor Edge to be in, as well as Tempest, because getting out of the crater is so difficult. And Kemba, a second player to oh. die to the blue zone from win streak, and. And the team is going to be eliminated in the 11th position, so just shy of any sort of placement points for them. Slightly unlucky, next this uh, rightly so, looking at all possible directions, just, you know, probably praying at that stage that nobody peeks over. And, and for Om Omakin as well, even though they're in a position where in theory they could try in some sort of uh, approach to eliminate Unity, it's not really worth the risk so far because they would need to walk on top of the ridge, which again would expose them. However, T-Bone has Udyr. found Udir. There we go. And then we do have the next circle in as well. So some of uh, the uh, crater fields are still in. The buildings are currently taken by Razor Edge, and most likely Udir will join his team. Uh, never mind, he's actually going to need backup right now as uh, Razor Edge are on the move. They're going to be passing Omaken, and it's just free shots for T Bone, even though he doesn't manage to land uh, really any of them. However, Nailup in the meantime has found Tornado Energy and Pixelic. Eventually finds Udir. <laughs> Eventually. So for Udir, it was like a run from one building to the other, to the buggy, to another building. And it just, you know, so many rotations do end up badly for you at the end of the day. Still 10 teams alive. Techers takes some serious shots to himself. The helmet is destroyed, but luckily he still has plenty of health uh, meds just in general available for him. No boosters, I think. So, you know, you need to be mindful of the fact. Raise your edge. A single kill in their hands. Two players still alive. Pretty much at this point in time, I would say uh, stay alive as long as you can. Their position in the overall standings is pretty solid and, and you would want to solidify that. The reason why they're looking around is they're still looking to see if they can pick up any easy kills, any easy uh, finishers here. And I think he, uh, just like a <laughs> single more bullet would have done the job and with the slither of health he'll be able to come through with a res there however uh, yeah, Ab no. has found Tixu and Perfectix finishes himself and that is Northern Light stealing a point away. There, oh, oof. Dangerous. 
dangerous throw vehicles there. can squish you in this game like a bug. So you want to stay away from them as soon as a grenade lands nearby. Dude, it looks <gasps> as though game no, frame are no. pushing. Omakin have oh. spotted Unity here. And the way that Omakin have, have spread out across this ridge for, is, is really it, phenomenal. It, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like It's best case scenario for them. They try to go for the As soon as they go for a shot, <laughs> they get sidetracked. Is, was that shot from Tempest? <laughs> Surprise! I think I, that was from Tempest, a, a, a very long shot, but that does discourage Paige from peeking more, meaning that was, yeah. Unity still <laughs> safe for now, but you can see Paige <laughs> doesn't want to give up that free opportunity. So Tempus, uh, well, the problem is for Tempus here that they, so, uh, sooner or later they'll need to get over that ridge. Yep. This is carnage. It's fantastic. Absolutely. You, you give a tiny sliver of yourself on top of a ridge, and these pros, oh my god, you love to see it. Compot in the meantime has managed to find a kill onto Ultra, but Ab gets Nixed is down on his knees. They oh. absolutely need to nail the revive They're right pushing. now. One more grenade. Game frame oh. are pushing in. The Molotovs are coming through. Nixtus is burning. Game frame. Are they going to be picking up that valuable bounty for themselves? They're actually He's still alive. He's still alive. This is our hero moment. Oh my god. Compot, the man, the myth, the legend. He's still going to be able to pick up. Oh. Uh, Nixtus and Techers in the meantime is being revived as well. So Game Frame had a brief <laughs> moment where they could pick up. But as I said before, it's extremely hard to push a ridge like this. A quick look at the map now does reveal that Razor Edge will have the opportunity to go for that pickup. Tempest actually probably are going to be feeling pretty lucky right now considering that they still have buildings to work with. Navi in that top hill site as long as they can hit this uh, hold this hillside um, they should be pretty okay but they do have the danger in the form of tornado energy and game frame go for a push ab is going in and they're going for those valuable points next this is going to be eliminated ab will go down and unity is out of the game as game frame in a daring move will destroy them dude that was absolutely mucho senseno. That was spring break on Daytona Beach, mate. They rushed them. I asked you, I asked you, how how would that go if they rushed that, that ditch? And they came in with three vehicles at once. Oh my God, that was fantastic. Ab and Techers. That, that, hey, that, that's the buddy, the buddy road, the road trip movie right there. Those two, the bromance. That was incredible. And they pick up the four bounty points. If Game Frame could go on to win now, this is going to be massive. That, that might be extremely <laughs> huge for them. Tornado energy in the meantime in a brawl with Na'Vi. A lot of grenades again being ex exchanged here. A lot of smokes as well. Tornado energy, I would say, you know, are in a bit more beneficial situation. They have a few dips and ridges to work with. But Batulans now, last man standing for Northern Lights. Size the Mini 14 in hand with that 8x hope as well. That does mean that he can join pretty much any fight he wants at this point in time. Apocalypse still finds Ultra, one of the Game Frame players. Ultra can be revived, so Game Frame are uh, still, I would say, okay-ish with what the situation is currently. Thank you now. Does manage to find QEZ. As well. Oh, and Tornado Energy will be eliminated here. However, because they were eliminated in the eighth position, they'll get a few points alongside with those kill points for themselves. But Doolin's now last man standing with the Groza has managed to kill off Orange. He has the ghillie suit as well, so if he finds a bush, he can go for it. But the zone pushes him to move forward and out in the open. The tab will put an end to Northern Light. You still have six teams remaining, and Navi now finally start to score some serious points for themselves. Oh, and look at the circle. Game frame. Game frame. Look at this. They, they listen, fortune favors the bold Alexander right there. That was absolutely insane. And now they get the circle. Uh, I'm, I really hope it. I hope it shifts as well. Obviously, uh, the, the uh, people uh, that are disappointed with the most <laughs> with this circle are Tempest. So look at the amount of open terrain they have to cross to even get to the next circle. And once they get there, there's not much cover to take. Oh, and the one that is available is pretty much taken already. They tried to make a move, and they're going to be pushing into Razor Edge. I think they're extremely low on health right now as Nailup will be knocked. A doozy does manage to burn Pixelic down to the ground. Omakin now joining the fight and third partying this thing with three kills in the pocket, in, in their pockets. Obviously trying to see if they can just eliminate these teams and give themselves a bit of a wiggle room to work with. Only single player now alive from Tempest and that is... And here comes Wookie. 
This I, I would pay money to see this. A Wookiee on a motorbike. Well, uh, oh. that's, uh, that's all she wrote. He does manage to get through the fence, but that's as far as he goes. Is raise your edge to oh. put an end to him. Still five teams remaining here. Senya, an extremely good vantage point for them. So he's going to be scouting out a lot of information. Now, the first thing they need to tackle is that they are aware that Blaze is somewhere close by behind these ridges. He even sees where the grenades are coming from, so he's going to be passing that information down to his teammates. Rip9 has no place to go. That hill is too high to climb and Orange with that push will put an end to it. Blaze Esports is going to be eliminated. In the meantime, is that Navi on a 10 kill killing spree? I believe so. A bit more utility will be picked up from the bodies of Blaze. In the meantime, game frame, three kills secured that bounty. Ultra and Dex still alive. Dex, and I would say a good position in terms of surprising your opponent because again, for your opponent to find you, he would need to expose a lot of uh, his valuable body for that. Omaken, though, four players alive and a huge threat right now as Orange will be taken down. That leaves Navi with only two players as Razor Edge. A doozy will die to the blue zone. The spray goes through into the smoke. Flashbang in Jemti's face forces him to fall back and a push coming through. Page saves his teammate's life by eliminating Shiv there. The tab, however, does find Dex, who decided to make a move, and that now Ultra last man standing. Very unlikely that he's going to be able to pick up his teammates, so that's why he, uh, Dex is crawling slowly closer to Ultra. Ultra just making sure no close, no members are close by, and this is such a difficult position to be in for these teams because it's just ridges right now, and with such deep dips behind, it's it's pretty much like the, the next circle will determine the winner here. Oh. Page will put an end. Uh, to Na oh no, excuse me, he'll put an end to the tab, but yep. not to Navi just and, yet. And that's his fifth kill right there as well. This is this is fantastic. We're seeing some insane skills. A revive comes true, so Ultra does get Dex back into the game, and they have still pretty decent chances as long as Ultra perhaps can spot out Senya. So it's like four versus one versus two, and <laughs> Omaken are in prime position to play the Nimers game here if they play their cards right. Senya obviously <laughs> not too interested to reveal himself, perhaps, you know, just just be having very, a gawk. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hunting rabbits. <laughs> hunting rabbits. Well, Dex is... Uh, Probably not too keen to move away from this position right now. The circle closes off in 15 seconds. They pour Omaken, pour you can see that Omaken just really want to end this one quickly, but obviously you don't want to run into any surprises. And as I said before, playing these ridges can be extremely difficult. Ultra and Elf that's one of the spots one of the Omaken players. A flashbang is going to be coming through. They theoretically can push off of this. Choose obviously not to do so. They're not really aware of how many of the Navi players are still alive. And, and Senya, as mentioned before, most likely will just wet it out for as long as he can. He spotted. will be spotted and Dex takes a dangerous shot. His armor is broken as well right now. So Dex, I mean, any incoming shots to the body will be extremely damaging. Senya instantly drops to the ground. Smoke's already being dropped near him. Spots one of the Omakan players looking oh. for this ridge on top, and Senya really can't make a move right now, but he will need to in two minutes or less. Uh, Senya is in a very tricky position right there, mate. Very tricky. Ultra's been dropped. Senya dropped Ultra, though. Yeah, Senya does find one, and that is going to be green frame eliminated. A T-point joins the fight now. Senya has such headshots coming through, but Omaken are going to be <laughs> game number two winners. Hey, this is Danumdi, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, back to the studio. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is obviously a lot of talk points to talk about. But before that, we just want to give everyone enough room for a bit of a breather. So a slight intermission. And when we come back, we'll go through everything that just happened on our screens.
Ever wanted to earn money selling your own custom merch? Starting your own brand has never been easier. Head over to Printify.com and choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Opportunities are endless. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store and let your followers know. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer, no matter where they are. Let's get you started. Open a merch store with Printify today and get two months premium for free. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, Ooh. these has be these have been very intense games. My English is leaving me slowly <laughs> with the amount of action that's been happening. And I mean, the, the, we've seen a lot of aggression coming out of these teams, and rightly yep. so. You know, the, the subject that you touched initially there at the start of the stream, uh, the teams that really need to go for it are going for it for sure. The teams that need to stay alive are rightly doing so as well. But now, yeah. this second game, Omaken picking up that solid victory and playing out their position perfectly. They stayed on top of that ridge for just the around right amount of time to outlive everyone, outgun everyone. Game frame, finding unity and securing that bounty as well. We'll, we'll shortly after, we'll have a look <laughs> at the overall standings currently and just to see how that has yeah. impacted things. But still, unity did have a solid job in terms of staying alive long enough. They definitely yep. did manage to uh, secure some uh, overall points. And I do believe we do have the overall standings already ready. So let's, after game, I believe. So uh, match results. Uh, Navi, is that correct? I, I think there's a mistake. Omaken did secure the victory there. Uh, Navi uh, did place second. Game Frame, uh, Game Frame uh, has secured that third position, and you can see that they have uh, 11 points here, five placement points, six kill points, but they will get four more in the overall standings due to them picking up Game Frame's, uh, it was, excuse me, Unity's bounty that they had there. Tornado Energy luckily have managed to get a uh, out of that slump that they were living in and uh, yep. are securing that uh, fourth position. So happy days to them. Raise your edge. Played the best to their abilities and stayed alive long enough, though. Uh, I would have expected a bit of a better result coming out from Northern Lights here, but uh, to be honest, this circle was a bit brutal. And oh, something yeah. that we are very pleased to see with FaZe now finally breaking into that uh, first uh, uh, top eight of uh, the match and obviously getting uh, more valuable points on their way. And closing things off in that first top eight is Tempus and uh, well they they were basically just destroyed by <laughs> circle number eight because they, they had to move and they had nowhere to go but Chris please elaborate <laughs> on destroyed, the other half. Destroyed by the circle yeah so uh, Blaze Esports then uh, placement points three kill points uh, one and then four Team Liquid with three points uh, Unity with uh, only only two points there yeah so a bit Slightly unlucky, but that's right. what... I mean, look, they were in a ditch. They had nowhere to go. Anywhere you would try to get out would be absolute mayhem either way. And they had yeah. vehicles exploding next to them. What True. else do you want? Like, they're know, not right? made of iron. But then this gets interesting. Ants with two, red line with one. What is going on at the bottom here? Lots of zeros right here. I feel like we're playing noughts and crosses. Can you tell me what <laughs> TSM is doing there? Can anyone tell me what TSM is doing ah, there? The, yeah, well, we'll find out a bit later. But before that, it's match stats here in terms of damage dealt. Look <laughs> at Senya. What, like, <clears throat> I think this is the first time <laughs> during... That, well, at least these two weeks that we see more than a thousand damage dealt that by a single player. Insane. Can I just ask you, Senya, Russian? Yeah. yeah. He's well, Russian. Sort of. Is no. he Russian? Yes. Is no, he Russian? Maybe. Who Sorry, knows? In, you could check. Instant, instantly awesome. Uh, then Paige, uh, Aliag, 
T-Bone, Orange, Perfectix, Clem, and Ab. And, and look, solid game right there from all those, all eight contestants. Right. Well, the moment you've been waiting for the <laughs> overall standings after, well, what is now two Miramar games. We still have two Irango matches in front of us and Unity still in first place, 59 points. But very importantly, Omaken have definitely moved up 56 points only three points behind unity here raise your edge as well falling close by only five point difference between them northern lights definitely same as navi with the amount of kills they got are in the in the run for the victory here so these two Arangal games are going to be very clutch for them red line not out of the picture just yet but it does mean that they would need to become very aggressive right now same goes for blaze esports and for team liquid i I mean, Team Liquid needs an incredibly good run. Game frame right now, with uh, the amount of bounty uh, points they have collected, have secured currently the ninth position and have seriously moved up from the previous bottom half they were in, 32 points respectively there. Unexpectedly, probably for most of our viewers, mm -hmm. TSM currently in 10th uh, place. So this first PUBG Pro session is not really that successful for them, even though they started off with a win uh, on the very first game last week. FaZe Clan still around 10th, 11th position. So even off the back of the kills that they have gotten and a few of those placements points as well, still 31 overall. And I mean, here it's it's pretty much is going to be make it or break it. Expect to see very interesting things on uh, the second map of Erangel from them. Uh, closely followed by Tempest and Tornado Energy. Tornado Energy have finally moved up from Jumping that 16 up. position. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, along with the uh, Tempest. Ents have been pushed down and Ents to, I mean, this week, in my opinion, overall has been relatively quiet from them. We don't see them that much on the kill feed as well. Istanbul Wildcats BSD last week did so much work for his team. This week it seems like perhaps the weaponry, perhaps the loot is not playing into his favor. However, I believe it has been adjusted so it's pretty even uh, grounds for everyone and of course win streak uh, still in that uh, 16 position right now so for win streak at this point in time unless they bring yeah. us two of the craziest <laughs> games that we have seen yet so far yeah. it's it's starting to become very unlikely as for a few others that they're going to be uh well pretty much securing any positions right. in, in and, this first session. And we're here in go time in 90 seconds. I'm excited for Erangel, the OG map, but you're right, mate. We're going to have to see literally like biblical proportion fragging kill body. We're going to have yeah. to see Rambo sequel kill body counts in this one. You know, we're... we're the counter uh, just oh, keeps on counting. Oh, my yeah. God. It's, it's gonna, we're going to have to see like the reincarnation of Robocop to get this done if you're on that, that back eight right there. Or um, if you're as old to even know <laughs> what that is. Basically, we're going to have to see one team just get every kill uh, in the entire game uh, if they're if they're to jump jump from the back eight, you know, to the front eight. It's going to be very, very interesting. But, hey, you, you got a dark horse. What, what about Tornado Energy? I mean, you feel like they can make a top eight finish if they keep pushing? I, I, in theory, yes. They would need to definitely have a, a successful first game or either in the second Erangel game, they would need to pick up the bounty kill Grab and then, then see if they can combine that with the amounts of kills they pick up. Tornado Energy definitely is no stranger to playing the game in a fast pace, in an aggressive yep. pace, to position themselves, to finding these early fights, being able to win them as well. I mean, time and time again, Again, here we've seen excellent plays coming out mm -hmm. from them. Just overall fact that the way how the circle plays out and the way how the rotations sometimes play out, it just doesn't seem to be uh, on their beneficial side right now. But however, yes, I I'm still not disregarding even the craziest scenarios that could happen because that's exactly what Battle Royale games are about. Like sometimes you, you can't really disregard anyone. And again, just to emphasize a bit more from yeah. last week in terms of like the level of skill these teams have and how narrow the skill gap is between these teams does leave us with the potential of just insane upsets yet to come. So Unity, they are preparing themselves Ooh. for yet another sweaty run. Omaken, they are preparing themselves to battle it out and overtake the lead. But a bit more about that very shortly once the first Erangel map is on your screens.
Hey, this is Danum D, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, let's go into the game. All right, but oh my God! What, <laughs> well, first of all, welcome back. Second of all, what the hell is that flight path? Uh, obviously, a lot of the teams are probably are going to go for a bit of a stretch downwards to the south. However, yep. I'm curious to see where Unity goes there because there are like two position, two places where they like to land. First of all, that's George Bull. Second of all, that's Nova Ripnoye. I doubt there's going to be Nova Ripnoye. They seem to go <laughs> for the George Pool area, which uh, is not far from Jarki, where Northern Lights tend to land, so there might be a bit of an early clash happening there as well. Is anyone going to be going to Sosnovka Island? What do you think? Are we getting anyone down there? Uh, I, I <laughs> highly doubt. I mean, this flight, uh, flight path means you need to make a very far stretch. Then yeah. you need to get a vehicle. <laughs> then you need to make your way over there. And by the time you get yeah. there, yeah. the first circle is going to be on the map. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you, you you literally have like 30, 40 seconds to loot before you need to make a move towards this circle itself. I, I cannot wait for this circle to pop. I am. I am. Look, that there, there, there's a statue of of, of Grandpapa. Um, like I'm uh, waiting com for this. Comrade <laughs> Grandfather. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Um, uh, I, I cannot wait yeah. for this circle to pop. I, I got a feeling. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be south. I think. I think. Finally, well, Trumpet Monkey is gonna get some coastline in his final yeah. gameplay. I want to see it. Yeah, well, this map is going to teach a lesson <laughs> to someone, and oh my, oh my. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, well, first of all, let's start with the obvious. Good news for Unity. <laughs> they could just hold themselves in George Bull. There's so many buildings. It's highly unlikely their team's going to be in, coming in here. I believe there's already... <gasps> oh. Pixelic is going to be run over by, li <laughs> by <laughs> Lipstick, and Laza will finish things oh off. Oh, my Pixelic, God. Pixelic, poor soul, found in the middle of nowhere, driven over, <laughs> smashed, stomped, destroyed. <laughs> you name it. It already <laughs> happened. We were uh, like... That's it. Did even a minute uh, pass? Excuse me, license and registration, please. Bam! <laughs> it's just <laughs> well, it. you can read it up close now for <laughs> sure of that drive-by. Uh, In the meantime, Team uh, Liquid here straight out of Pachinki. Uh, not just <laughs> yet, but they are going to be making that move. And a Spyro. Speaking of which, yeah? speaking of which, shout out to Printify and PUBG. And if you are watching, be active in the chat. You can win yourself a straight out of Pachinki Printify t-shirt as well as PUBG t-shirt just by being active in the chat. want to mention that now before there's too many more road kills. Here we go. <laughs> Too many road kills. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, everyone seeing that in the server on the kill feed probably had a bit of a chuckle to themselves as well. Apart from, of course, uh, Tempest there, who just <laughs> lost uh, a member very early on. So you can yeah. have a look, a quick gawk at the overall standings one more time on the the left side of your screen. But uh, they are not being updated live. So obviously, any changes that might happen during this match, we will represent afterwards once we talk about it. Now, so man, Chris, you yeah, have man, something to say. Wait, absolutely. Storyline from the beginning of the show. Can Unity hold on? Let's see what happens. I mean, they've got to do a lot I'm better. Than I'm cheering for them yeah, at me this too. point, honestly. Bit, bit fangirling. Yeah, well, hey, hey. Just a bit. There's, there's nothing wrong with that at all, you know? Like, I, I love it. I love it. it they, they came together, you know, a, a week and a half ago. Oh, we got... Shots fired, shots fired. Oh, wow. Dodge is coming in right now, and a shot Look does connect, and he needs to get away from these Navi <laughs> players. Levent, run, uh, man. Shout out. Oh, Sliver Health remaining. He was so close to the edge there as uh, well to jump over it. Besto bests him in this well, game uh, of cat and mouse, essentially. like <laughs> There was not much Istanbul Wildcats <laughs> could do there as well. No teammates close by to provide any sort of uh, cover fire uh, to him as well. So phase one on its way in 20 seconds. <laughs> so that means if anyone doesn't have a vehicle just yet, you make sure you grab one. And that's exactly what the tab does. Jumps in his buggy. Starts it up, run, drives away, and makes sure that he doesn't uh, linger around too much in those uh, initial contacts. You can see, uh, obviously, it. Levent not going to be happy about that one. And it's so painful as well, just when you're so close. Uh, let's have a look at these rotations. Yeah. So, phase, of course, 
coming out from mill to power a place where where they generally tend to land most of the time and definitely in that part of the map uh, they're yeah. going to be pretty familiar with uh, their rotational paths but still there's still uh, i mean there's a lot of teams they need to cross right. winstreak have uh, spotted out unity members obviously uh, winstreak most likely are not aware of what which team is right now and fix this is going to be returning a few of those bullets uh, towards uh, win streaks. When for win streak, I mean, at this stage, there's not much you're you're losing in terms of engaging into this early fight. So, say if they even would were to go for that fight, they would probably try to play it out uh, as much as safely as uh, possible. Yep. Oh. SLR doing work so far. Is that the first smoke I see coming out from that car? Enough damage and that thing will blow. So Unity just making sure they are shooing anyone away. And, uh, you know, their position here as well. I like these buildings because you have a bridge close by. You have sort of three pathways and you get a, a beautiful w view over this hillside. You can at least count how many teams have passed you and which direction they have gone for. Oh, that's a valuable drop hit a there as well. AWM Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. There we go. Techers is <laughs> on his way to pick up that juicy, Techers. juicy drop. A level three vest and helmet, of course, comes in. It, it's like all in one set, right? This is, oh, yeah. this is like the top, yeah. top tier loot that you can get. It's Christmas here for Techers, who is in a very public, uh, you know, uh, uh, bromance body flick with Ab. And uh, I wish him nothing but the best. I'm, I'm hoping hoping to see some Techers action on the end of that AWM right there. Hey, real life chemistry really matters when it comes to yep. any yep. any team sport, be it eSport, real sport, doesn't matter. But in the eSport, it's, it, it sometimes even plays out even stronger just because a lot of how your game goes is based on communication. And the better you understand each other, the better it goes for you guys. In the meantime, though, he has spotted win streak here, just making sure that they are uh, it looks like they are going to be playing this ridge, and I like it in terms of being able to, even if you get backstop, you can instantly jump towards the other side of that it ridge is. and duck for cover. This is this is fantastic observation You know, it's not here. that easy to get cars up there. It really isn't, right? This is this what I call the Lord of the Rings shot right here. You know, there we go. We can, we could be in New Zealand right there. This is a beautiful shot, and, and Team Liquid taking that ridge right there. They are going to be sitting pretty this should be pretty interesting yeah most likely nobody will challenge team liquid in that position unless it's from afar and even if it is the team liquid can just safely duck away and survive for as long as it's needed and for this <laughs> circle their position is extremely beneficial because that's pretty much the highest point uh around that area you and uh, you know you can again uh take notes during the game in terms of uh, which teams have gone where. Tornado Energy find themselves slightly in the open whilst moving around. A few shots being uh, done towards their direction, but nothing too serious happening right now. And Monkey here, is it like a cousin of yours? Your trumpet monkey, he's just monkey. Here we go. Oh, Orange, Orange uh, able to apocalypse. pick up Apocalypse. Of course, is going to be finished off here, and that is first points for Navi. And Navi starting things off nice and early. And I mean, this week, Blaze, they're not having the best of runs so far. Mm, nope. Navi, uh, look at this, rolling in in force here. Oh, that's a thing of beauty right there. And here they are, Clib, probably getting, probably getting mad love in chat as he always does. Okay, well, yeah, what is, what is up with Clib? Chat loves Clib. I feel like he has a huge fan club out there. Um, look. You have to feel a little bit sorry for him there, but how many people in the chat love Clip? <laughs> Let us know right now, and uh, we'll force the people in the background to count the votes. <laughs> Clip, we love you. Hey, we love you. That's it. Um, and okay, so I mean, they're they're actually doing. We we genuinely uh, felt felt as a phase was going to have a hard rotation there, but the teams are kind of spreading out. No, like, like that's what I'm saying. They're they're familiar definitely with these scenarios and they know their ways in terms of getting uh, to where they want to be. It looks like Uba is uh, still staying behind. Not too sure. Maybe perhaps he's filling up the, the gas tank of the car. Oh, no, 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 no. This is something that you don't want to see. 
Let's go. It's it's like a it's a double split in George Pool and, and and across the bridge. There's okay, so there's like Let's. there's two bridges. Yep. There's about twenty percent of water if in that circle, if not twenty five. Yeah. And that again it means less land to work with. George Pool has so many buildings in it, so many multiple story buildings, like three, four story buildings, and anyone can be hiding at any uh, any story of that. So it's going to be extremely hard to push these buildings. But the problem is if you overstay, you're welcome in one of these. It takes time, obviously, to get down, and if you don't know where your opponents are, you can you can be caught off. So there's going to be definitely some unexpected twists happening around that area. Nail up here in the meantime has uh, managed to find the keys for his Dacia, so he's on <laughs> his way, already yeah. trying to take a position here. Game frame as well. You can see they're very early getting into that circle. They don't want to be caught out. They don't want to be gate gate kept, uh, meaning they don't want to get shot at uh, once they are trying to get into the zone. So nice and early inside, a few shots being exchanged. Uh, between these just, yeah. cars, so that's just like just game frame and ends saying hi to each other. Calm as you like right there, you know, just a, a, a quick, quick sporadic fire from one car to the other. Imagine if going? it would be like in real life, hey Billy, <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> TSM though, in the meantime, looks like are deciding to go for a push here towards yeah. Team Liquid. Team Liquid definitely aware of the fact that shots coming through from Iro. What a knock coming through. That is a pickup that a TSM potentially can push off of. Of course, they still need to scout out where the other members are and if there are any close by. So TSM still looking, still searching, waiting for Iro to get closer as well because with that pickup and switching up that position, that might be extremely beneficial for them. Beck Fex is able to get a headshot onto Ibiza, but there's also battle simultaneously happening yeah. between FaZe and Razor Edge, and it looks like Gustav, uh, yet again, oh. is going to be besting them with uh, two kills of his own, even gets the finisher there on uh, top, and FaZe just devastating Razor <laughs> Edge right now. Those two players are going to be fully killed, and Gustav, yet again, opens things up. Gustav is straight up gangsta out there. He has been. We have we've said his name a few times today. I, I, I yeah, think, yeah, like, for sure. Deadliest player award, mate. If this, oh my god, if if this ends on a bridge, I'm I'm gonna kiss you, PUBG. I need to see it. I need to see the water. No, like, look, that is just crippling for a lot of these teams. Obviously, for a game frame here as well, generally you don't get to see that many bridge camps happening. However, uh, Northern Lights are very close by, keeping tabs on how many ta teams are crossing over, and Gustav is just searching for yeah. victims right now. He has <laughs> spotted one of the Tempest players there. Wookie, like, my man, yeah. please move, move, <laughs> no, move. Wookie, move. Wookie, keep, keep your head down, Wookie, Wookie. Gustav is... He's a murderer. Look at him go here. Oh my God. He, there, he, this is insane. Like, look at him. He's just hunting actively. He's on the hunt. But that's exactly what FaZe need right now. They need every single kill they can pick up and spiral. What a long shot and a long kill coming through for him. So Northern Light, very valuable initial pickup. And considering there's still all teams are alive, there is plenty of opportunities for Northern Lights to have an insane run. And if not, try to get, well, pretty much like they just need to get to the close, uh, as close as possible to that first place. And the next circle is just worse and worse. And it's, oh my God. So there's like river in half. This this is like 50-50 right now <laughs> uh, for these teams to, like at this stage, take a wild guess where the next one is going to be. Because yep. you have half of the map on one side, half of the land on one side, half the land on the other side. Like pretty F much just a river in between and two bridges. FYI, in case you missed it, there, there goes Techers in the AWM are gone. Unity though have been spotting out to win streak here. Nix this. Oh, <laughs> he barely makes it, but he makes it over the ledge, so he'll be able to heal up. Team Liquid using advantage of the <laughs> chaos happening, just driving through right now, making their way towards George Bull, the Wanderer forced to reload, still searching for Nix. This sees that black smoke over the ridge there, so knows there's trouble happening. PSD, however, finally we see the name on, on that kill feed for uh -oh. Istanbul. Wildcats picking up their first kills. Unity are falling apart here as two people at least are down on the ground, if not out. And Blaze in the meantime, finally getting a bit of a, a breathing room for themselves. Again, find themselves with only two members alive whilst still everyone else is in the game. Laza, he's got the Nikes on. Phase going for a bit of a swim. Yep. Seal Team Six. And I love it. Uh, look, I love it. I love it. 
I like it, and I'm I'm terrified <laughs> for them right now. Because if you are found in a position <laughs> like this, there is extremely unlikely chances you will be making yeah. out. And speaking of finding them, <laughs> Wanderer wanders into Gustav, and Kemba will put an end to him. So that's one of the carries for Phase down and out. The remaining three players are trying not to show too much of themselves, but see, that's the problem. <laughs> they, like Win Streak, know that Phase is in water they for sure understand that the other players are close by phase really have not much choice to use the only cover that they have in the form of a bridge or try to hide in water as much as possible now because there's so much action happening around wind streak cannot fully commit to finding these phase players but they are well aware of the fact that they're not going to be going anywhere t-bone in the meantime gets a kill onto iro qb does find example there as well from tornado energy and does fully eliminate him still however Considering the circle, I'm amazed all teams are still technically alive. IT actually made a, a nice move there to cover his cover his teammate under the bridge. Look, he's hammering him here. But I was about to say, look, like win streak. <gasps> a push coming through from Tornado Energy. Sorry that I interrupted you here, but oh, uh, Ivas, he might be found. Tornado Energy definitely know he is close by. The other teammates are a bit further away and can't really provide any firing power for him. Uh, they're trying to use a bit more utility to just discourage t Tornado Energy from pushing in. But continue, Chris. Well, I, was, I was just going to say, he's letting it hang out like a dad bot out there. The, the, <laughs> the win streak guys at Ew. that bridge, they're about, they're about to get hammered from every which angle. But look at this right here. In the containers. This this is going to be great. That's a nice nade. That's oh, like wow. insane geometry coming yep. out from Ivas there. Unfortunately for him, he, that was a very daring peek and he's very lucky to be now, alive. However, it, Mixie... Yep. I was, it looks like whoever is on the south side of these bridges, the circle pop there, mate, phase four. So, so they're going to be, they're going to have a hard time getting over that river right now. This is going to be very interesting and that's the problem with fighting within these containers you are still in also exposed to the other side of the river where team liquid is currently like located at and they have a prime vision over all that's happening so redline has not much choice than to fight within the middle of these containers not overexposing themselves and Ivos will find LEA can he finish him off as Tornado Energy still struggling to stay alive right now Millman last man standing he's gonna be flashed he's gonna be pushed from all directions that is it Tornado Energy will be eliminated again in the 16th position and it is just a very rough time right now for Tornado Energy at least so far in the first PUBG Pro sessions you hate to see it, but somebody has to get eliminated Someone needs first. to take the, take the yeah, bullet. They, they really do. Now, I want to see... Uh, by the way, while all that was happening, FaZe have managed to stay whole here. Yeah, well, they're still hiding underneath <laughs> that bridge, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure they're probably not going to be moving around considering uh, the other teams in the form of uh, Red Line and Tempest as well as Raise Your Edge still need to somehow find their way over the river as well, and there's a huge risk that uh, one of these teams most likely will spot them. RIP9 goes for a huge leap into the water, doesn't make it, gets tagged along the way, and needs to be careful emerging from this water. Now, he has a bit of an angle to work with one of the TSM players is knocked but still alive so he can still pass information on to his teammates if he hears that someone is emerging from water but as I say that TSM they are going to be eliminated and that is another name that you are not expect to be eliminated this soon in the game as well as Raise Your Edge is going to be out so that leaves us with only 13 teams right now and Tempest is suffering from the wrath of Redline. And we had a quick glimpse there at Omakin who are whole and they are safe and they are holding down an entire entire quarter of, of the circle basically um yeah this is this is getting ugly here down by the waterfront well fuzz face uh, is gonna be uh, putting down a few shots into that smoke seeing that uh, if they didn't i don't think they saw initially blaze players leap into the water but obviously they have spotted them so now blaze is forced to use every bit of utility they can to even get out of here to create a smoke wall for themselves to move forward some deadly shots coming through from uba laza is going to be put down on the ground so that leaves blaze with a single member still up and running and somehow he needs to make his way to Lays. My favorite name to say, by the way. Uba. There we go. It did, did well. Yeah, you heard me chat. All right. So um, now look, so something has to give. When are they coming across this bridge? 
Well, uh, there's only 45 seconds remaining <laughs> here, so FaZe as well still need to find some ground to play with, and they need to eliminate Blaze in order for them to free up that backside of theirs. They also run the risk of potentially running to, into Omaken, which I believe uh, so far is just observing the battle that's been happening here. Omaken don't really need to uh, overstay their welcome on this one. They're actually going to make a bit of a move towards the northern part of the map. And in the meantime, not far from the the circle so they don't really need to make that big of moves. Northern Lights though is dangerously close by so Northern Lights for sure are going to be keeping a close uh, tabs on them. Uba in the meantime relentless with his firepower and as I mentioned Spyro already has found his first victim in the form of Diggory. Crawling for that cover. No kills just yet for Ents as well, so he's just trying to stay out of that uh, line of fire, out of the line of sight, just so uh, the, his team members can revive him. 8C in the meantime. No kills as of yet, but they know that one of those... Uh, that's Rip9 stuck behind the rock there and an unfortunate position to be in. This zone really starts to hurt right now and with yeah. the zone closing off the grenade though in the meantime for Buzzface. <laughs> he just dives for a quick look just to make sure he has an understanding where the player is and you know <laughs> QB he needs to come up for air and sooner or later he will find a headshot. Not a fresh breath of air for sure. Shot oh. being made and an easy kill coming through for Fuzz Face. Five kills for Faze so far. Currently still 12 teams alive. Uh, Rip9 most likely will die from zone here. He's just pinched, pinched down behind that rock and it's better to give yourself up in that instance rather than to give kills, uh, kill points to any of the other teams. Now it looks like George Pool is being populated more and saturated more and more. In the meantime though, Omaket now, they are in a prime position to start to pick up valuable points. Squishke is going to be uh, taken out by page and let's see if they can eliminate names off the back of this now Tixu able to respond and puts page on the ground but because of his position he can be easily revived right now and the verticality of those buildings yeah you it coming into play isn't it it's really coming into play as now Vasku gets a Senya out and actually kills the tab as well and this does mean that Navi will be eliminated here so Senya previously had an insane damage round uh, on that second game of Miramar but it doesn't seem to be as good here on the first game of Arangal. Mixi in the meantime has found Fuzz face grenade comes through from Rupture and gets Nixi. Let's see if they can follow up. Nail up in the meantime in a bit of a firing fire, firing squad against Game Frame there. Ultra with the AWM. Puts awesome. an end to Nike there as well. Awesome. So oh, a lot Tempus. of there's a lot happening right now. Tempus is gonna be eliminated. That leaves us with only nine teams right now. Ab has managed to find Spyro and an important pickup uh, in terms of getting a, a key member from Northern Lights down. Oh, Enz is gonna be eliminated though by Omaken. So Omaken. 10 kills, killing spree, and they're just gonna continue with the aggression. They need every single kill point they can. They're not very far off from the first position. And Omaken now are running potential the fact that they might overtake Unity in the leads, especially considering how this round played out for Unity. That is absolutely massive. Omakin just pouring the lead down here. How do you love to see it? And Vasku is not giving up just yet. They spot Patulin out in the open. That is an easy kill. Deep is going to be found as well by Jamti. And only two Northern Lights players remaining alive. They're pinched, and pinched down behind these trees. Vasku with the AWM tries to land a tries to land a kill with a 2-3x <laughs> scope. Unfortunate for him. Does take a serious shot from Perfectix. So needs to fall back. The zone of course is moving. Still a minute and 15 on the clock. The zone hurts like hell and northern lights they're not going to be making this one i'm sorry to say for any of the northern lights fan they are going to be eliminated and leaves us with only seven teams and omaken seem to be just on a rampage right now they definitely are mate this is it this is this is the this is the rambo sequel we were talking about that
I mean, Omakin have cleared the way for themselves pretty much for the victory right now. Being on the top hill area, at least for now, gives them prime position to scope out what's happening. FaZe miraculously somehow have managed to make their way closer and closer to the circle. Playing the very edge there, playing it safe. Istanbul Wildcats taking three, two, two serious buildings for themselves. Game Frame have managed to secure three buildings and they know pretty much nobody is behind. Quick the question is, are they aware of the fact where James is? Right, well, we're, we're about to find out, I guess. But win streak as well have managed to... This is probably their their, their longest uh, survival rate right here. I feel as though they could... Imagine if they came away with a dub. I'm, I'm liking what we're seeing here. I want some surprises. Potentially, but like they would need to overcome the uh, energy that Omak and currently are running on the server. And let's see the next shift. Oh, uh, that is a hard one. All the houses are rendered rendered useless pretty much right now. Team Liquid though are yes. uh, where Mixie is currently. They can still remain there and that's most likely what they'll do. Windstreak as well will make use of that single building that they have but for everyone else that was still chilling in George Pool, if you can say that, yeah. they need to make a move and there's not really that much ground to play with. You have one of the Harry Potter buildings and James is, is, is he aware where Compot is? But co lo look at the weapon that Compot is holding in hand. The M249, that thing just shreds up close. So, it definitely I mean, does. if Compot spots anyone, I'm very sorry, but that Game Frame is joining the fight and Gene takes down both players. That is a huge pickup. And now him running into the second floor. Comfort will find him and finish him off. And James uh, is probably just dropping some serious words on TeamSpeak right now because oh. that is unfortunate. Such a huge pickup for Team Liquid and it such lasted so shortly. Dude. I mean, there's still one more player alive around the building, so not all over yet. Kompot, of course, doing the best job he can. He needs to stay alive here. That is priority number one. Unity currently leading in the overall standings. Ab is ready to seek revenge. He knows James was eliminated. He's going to be pushing the stairs, but Kompot was expecting. He heard him coming up, and that is going to be game frame eliminated. Unity securing valuable kill points, valuable position points. In the meantime, Istanbul Wildcats have secured the Harry Potter building in the meantime. And Klib has found Uba, the last player that was alive from FaZe. And FaZe securing the sixth position and picking up, uh, I believe, somewhere around six or seven kills for themselves. That is a well well played performance. Compot will be found by She Created. So you have four teams remaining right now. That is Omakin with four members. Istanbul Wildcats with three <laughs> members. Offstring finds Jemti, but he will be revived here. And uh, speaking of uh, win streak, they still have three members of their own. Two members of Team Liquid. So it's it's not all too bad right now. Omakin just need to play this one smart and not to show themselves too much. Obviously, they're uh, offstring there as well, playing a cheeky angle I would say and yep. using the uh, scope advantage that he has with that 4x yep. can he find anything more it's very difficult for him to see anything right now with the amount of smokes they have and Omakin really don't need to do much especially if they have a bit more smokes remaining Istanbul Wildcats are in prime position to ruin someone's day considering they do have that small building and it's very hard to push into as well if someone tries to do that without any grenades and with street playing from garage just saying hello to Team Liquid. <laughs> and here comes here comes the vehicle. Here comes the car. Win streak gonna move. I love that Omakin are a full squad snaking in the game. Right, so Win Streak are trying to go for the best possible play they can do right now. They're going for a long right hand flank, but the car is already in flames, so Kemba needs to jump out. He needs to put down as many smokes as he can. The car will blow up. They will try to use this car as cover. Kemba is already down on the ground. Two players just dropping up. Dropping like flies, actually, as Maxizor is going to be out on the ground as well. They can be revived. They are not inside the circle, so the revive needs to come through now. Luckily, the smokes have bloomed. The players are just crawling forward because that is no place to, to go for a revive due to uh, just the amount of damage the zone deals right now. It looks like they will try to go for it. And in the meantime, though, she created has managed to find Glee believing Team Liquid with only a single member alive. Omakin sitting at 4. <laughs> 14 kills, what the hell is that? That is just an insane performance coming out from them off of, that, off of the back of the victory in the previous map.
And it looks as though Winstreak managed to survive. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Kobe! Oh. BAM! <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry for anyone, for those headphone <laughs> users, but that is just so satisfying right now. <laughs> Istanbul Wildcats as well, suffering fire from Mixie. Oh, but that was phenomenal. <laughs> that's all she wrote. Rapture is going to be out of the game, and the remaining players from Istanbul Wildcats are suffering devastating losses because Omakin have spot them. JMT just picking up more and more kills. I believe Omakin are sitting at around 17. 17 kills right now, Chris. <laughs> 17. Oh, that's absolutely phenomenal stuff here. So one versus four has nothing too much Austrian can do. He does a somehow does get Vasco for the down. win. Oh, <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, or Mackin again. Hey, this is Danum D, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, back to the studio. My mind is absolutely blown, Chris, and probably Dude. yours as well. <laughs> Omakin picking up, first of all, another victory. The win. But most importantly, in what fashion? 18 kills for the team. Obviously, one of their players is going to be securing the bounty on their head as well. But more so now as ever, uh, probably they're going to be securing the lead in the overall standings. But before Wait. that, let's have a look at the after game uh, standings where everyone ended up being. So just we're <laughs> clear on the on the place, right? So uh, Omak and Sweet Sports. Lord. Sweet Lord. Tw 29, 29 points and, and second place is 12. Have you ever seen anything like this be? Well, I mean, not at least so, <laughs> not in this event and not so far. That has been so far the most convincing run that we have seen. And this is exactly what you would want to see from a team that's chasing that first position. I mean, let's be real here, okay? They are fighting for some <laughs> serious amount of cash. They are. Yeah, five grand up for grabs in this in this first two weeks, then another five in the next two weeks. But 19 kill points, you nearly kill a third of the entire opponent pool right there. That, yeah, that, that's, that is the Rambo body count I was looking for right there. Talk about being everywhere at the same time. So second second team uh, second place was taken by Team Liquid there, and I'm happy to say that we finally uh, are, are seeing the names where we expect them to be Definitely. roughly. So they have picked up 12 points for themselves, eight kills, still a very good run and a very good job at staying alive at during these just completely crippling circles. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, I thought Istanbul Wildcats, every team played well, and every yeah. team played the, the card they were dealt. But I thought they moved really, really nicely there for I their mean, 10 points. Today's probably best performance so far coming out from them. Face Clan as well, uh, picking up again a solid position, a mm. solid amount of kills for themselves, so seven points for themselves overall. Win streak also a lot better run than what we saw in the beginning of this day and beginning of this stream. Yep. So uh, I'm very pleased to see that. Obviously, again, the, the last circle just pretty much messed, messed their plans up. They tried to go for that rotation, didn't work out. Mm. Unity in sixth position, two kills. Uh, three placement points, five mm. points overall. Not too shabby, but for sure they're not going to be in that first position. Yeah. More about that a bit later on. Red line uh, securing four points for themselves. TSM yep. eight. Mm. Yeah, another another four. Feels then, bad, man. Then, then the back eight, uh, Northern Lights, uh, you know, uh, placement one, three kills, so four in total. Blaze with three. Tempest two. Navi with two. You don't expect this. Yeah. Game frame with that heroic... Bounty rush in the cars <laughs> from from the second mirror mountain map with only two, and then again, yeah, raise your edge. Three ducks, ants, and tornado energy. It's it, it was just completely unlucky for them for sure. Tornado energy, just as, uh, again, must repeat myself, but they're slightly unlucky <laughs> so far in this first session. First three spots are taken by Omakin. So considering that the highest uh, uh, damage has been dealt. 
uh, that yep. uh, by T Bone. So T Bone is going to be the one yeah. that is going to have a bounty on his head out of Omakin. So Omakin now expect to see uh, that they're going to be playing slightly more safer uh, in the first rounds. Pretty much they're going to be probably playing uh, as. Uh, yeah. And T as uh, Unity was in the T first Bone game. is a dangerous individual, so this is going to be a great bounty right here. Yeah, uh, Mixie, uh, she created Spyro Page, and James also, uh, of course, gr gr great finishing. performance out of all of them. So let's have yeah. a look at the overall standings, and then you know, here finally, Omakin wow. Sports first place so far, overtaking the lead from Unity only by three points. So Unity definitely have all the opportunities in the world of securing <laughs> the victory here, and I mean. Look, next map decides everything. So every all the teams looking at these standings right now are like, okay, so Omakan Sports can definitely win. Unity definitely can win. Northern Lights definitely can pick it up. Razor Edge, same. Navi somehow have rec recouped themselves from the last week and definitely are still together with Team Liquid in the range of going for a victory. Redline would need to have a run the likes of what Omaken just had now, or not, if, if not even more. So it's coming up. Uh, like becoming a bit unreal for them. Face Clan, I'm I'm very happy to see that considering how they started last week, they have made it into the top eight. It's likely that they'll move up just by a bit. But here in the in, in well, quote unquote bottom eight, yeah. um yeah, firstly TSM, something you wouldn't well, expect to see. And uh, But I will say this, we saw yeah? 20, 29 points there from Omakin. Yeah. If there's any team in this back eight that could drop a 30 burger, a 40 burger, even go absolutely ham. It's TSM. Come on. If if they would drop 40, trust <laughs> me, we would we won't wouldn't have a voice anymore after <laughs> that game. No way in the world. Okay, so Blaze Esports had a better week, I would say, last week. Yeah. Um, however, this uh, Erangel game was still pretty okay for them. They did uh, manage to establish themselves in that 10 position game frame. Yeah. So off the back of the fact that they did manage to pick up that bounty, they're yeah. still around 11th position, followed by Istanbul Wildcats win streak. Ents is there as well. Ents not having the best of runs so far. 10%, as I said. I think out of all of these, TSM, Ents, Tornado, Energy would be the three teams that really definitely stand out in terms of uh, you wouldn't expect them to see them here. Yeah, given recent performance. But hey, look, it, it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. So, well, <laughs> it is what it is. Well, let's see uh, soon enough what it will be, <laughs> what it will when be. it comes to the fourth uh, <laughs> game that it gives out overall <laughs> standing points here. Ladies and gentlemen, for anyone that's tuning in, these are PUBG Pro Sessions with Printify. We have two Pro Sessions. Both have two weeks, two Fridays of action uh, in them and obviously right now uh, all Maken are putting uh, quite the show for us here together with the likes of Unity obviously everyone else is just trying to chase the fame and yep. looking to see if they can repeat uh, that but look so I, I mean I, today is exactly what I wanted it to exactly be. exactly and, and we we take notes during our games and I literally ran out of space on the notepad for for the kills for a Mac in yeah, there. It's, it's, um, that, it's that's ludicrous. Muchos insano. Uh, look, Gustav showed up again in that yeah, last Gustav round. Yeah, Gustav has been crucial for for just getting the momentum running for Phase, and I, I like the fact that off the back of it, obviously Fuzz Phase comes up with kills, AZ comes up with kills, but yeah. again, this. We, we cannot disregard the fact that here on this first Wrangle game, the circle was absolutely crucial, just brutal, excuse me, from the get-go, yeah. right? So FaZe were actually put in a, in a very horrible position, to being sort of basically pushed into water, being forced to hide under bridges, not being able to come out. Because once you come out, out of that water there as well, there's not any immediate cover nearby apart from the bridge so you're yeah. sort of stuck there and there are still teams that need to get over Jad draws everyone else's attention towards the bridge and then FaZe are like okay so if we move out everyone is watching if we will try to make a move someone will notice us anyway yeah. so best option is to try to stay alive as long as possible and hope that events pan out in such a way where they can sort of sneak by I like that towards the uh, end circle there win streak did guide try to go for that daring yeah. rotation. They even had the utility yep. on the back of it as well. Unfortunately, two members were knocked and Omakin were still in a prime position to just have a, a field garage, a shooting range for themselves. Right. And just all moving targets all around. 
relatively easy pickups as well considering their position playing that ridge line and and that's exactly why that ridge and we t I, I believe i mentioned that at the very beginning they took that position they held on to it and it's they a great did. position to be in because you get a view over george pool you see again which players are being taken which players are scoping out which windows uh, is anyone who's sitting on roofs yep. and so on but one more thing i would like to mention compot yeah m249 sitting in the <laughs> second floor you have one liquid member coming into uh -huh. the building. Game Frame decides to join the party. So James drops two Game Frame players, then runs up to heal, <laughs> unaware of the fact that the compot is thing there. And out of all the weapons in the world he could yeah. have, it's the M249, which yep. just shreds up close. <laughs> the fire rate is insane. And speaking about insanity, you know what time it is. It's time. You know, it's time it's for almost Aaron. time. Aaron, it's almost time. Aaron Goal, second time. The OG map. And Just around the corner here. We're about to crown a champ. Do you think we're going to see Boat? I hope so. I hope so. Well, I, hope we, I want to see it end on Coastline. End on Coastline. Good call. <laughs> let's see if that happens. Hey, this is Danum D, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, let's go into the game. Dear gods of PUBG, show us what oh. we will see the per fa <laughs> it's the perfect for words it's the perfect <laughs> plane it's beautiful look at this splitting the island in two yeah so uh, expect your regular drops uh, most likely here i highly doubt somebody will go for unknown territory here uh instantly northern lights jumping out stretching for the camish area question is is ants following close by no they are not Ooh, so ants most likely are gonna land near that uh, Rajok area in the meantime. So, Northern Lights, happy days for themselves. Wind streak as well, going closer to... Mm. What is that? That is Yasna and Poliana, though. So they're going to be landing there. Usually you see Omakin there, and rightly so. They're very close by, so it would be extremely beneficial for Winstreak if both of these teams end up landing there so. um, to pick up that team ASAP. And obviously they can only find out that is Omakin by getting at least one kill on them. <laughs> T-Bone. T-Bone does Das Bounty, yeah! T-Bone has the bounty on him. This is going to be absolutely awesome. That is a dangerous man. That is what I like about our bounty system. And, I, you know, I, I love the competition points. Well, he didn't take the UMP, <laughs> so no. he's probably looking for some more serious firepower that can deal some serious damage in range. So, whilst the Mac and uh, are starting to uh, loot here, just a quick reminder, guys, once again, yep. about the bounty, right? So, if the, the player that has the bounty on his head gets eliminated, the team earns four points for their overall game score in the standings and they do get an extra little bonus on top of that as well 150 bucks oh yeah dollars dollar Ca dollar cashish absolutely and and t-bone of course uh t-bone hailing from the united kingdom as well all right well let's talk a bit more about this circle that we have Oh, luckily, it's not exactly what we saw before. There is a bit of water included, but this is doable, okay? So, so far, half of the teams are in. TSM is in, Team Liquid in, uh, Raise Your Edge Red Line as well. And it's definitely celebrating this circle so far because they are well aware of the fact that nobody is really that close to them. Game Frey and Navi surely are aware as well. Northern Lights expect a rotation to come through the north, most likely through George Pool because it's just too risky to go through south for them. And pretty sure they saw nobody stretching that way. Wind Streak surely knee, most likely will meet with Omak and along the way everyone is also running the danger of running into TSM and TSM considering their performance today I'm sure are very eager to pick up anything that is moving in their direction tornado and energy as well in a prime position to you know gatekeep everyone from from coming into that zone in the meantime pixelic 
M16A4, uh, a weapon that not so often you see being used in the current meta. However, you're not disregarding anything that the game gives you, because obviously, you know, you'll have the option of swapping out if you find anything better. And with that 6x, I mean, the single, single fire still in, in a semi-range, uh, medium range, can do enough damage in skilled hands. And trust me, skilled hands is definitely what these players have. Such a scenic view here Chris can, can you give ah, us a bit yes. of an improv yes of course welcome back to PUBG world around us as we have a look at the natural habitat of a pro PUBG player running through the fields dashing into houses to pick up murderous devices oh and here we go <laughs> all right <laughs> and and from the tranquility of the fields here the we hunters go. emerge the hunters emerge yes Baruski the Baruski hunters here we go and uh, look, I, I want to see them. I want to see Winstreak, who were invited late to the party. You know, um, I want to see them do well. Well, this is a very nice compound for them to have. You have a bit of a fence to work with, first of all, so you can peek over that. You have two-story buildings oh. inside, but... Oh, Mackin, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, now, now, Kemba, uh, Kemba, you're going to... Uh, they for sure spotted him already, uh -oh. so oh, Mackin are just waiting, and he's now out oh. in the open in the middle of the round. This could oh. go horribly wrong for Winstreak very early on. They run the potential of losing a player. He's going to be closing closing in now, T-Bone, where he has been spotted, so Kemba very early on is going to be put down on the ground obviously instantly finished off and now Winstreak know where Omakin is this is prime position for Winstreak to use that knowledge to ruin the plans of Omakin to destroy them they're, early they're on rolling. and Let's they're go. mad Let's see they're in, mad okay in mother russia bounty belt is you here we go this is gonna be fantastic and Gemti will knock Maxisor out of the car uh, He's out on the ground. Offspring is uh, just on the slither of health. One more knock coming through on Wanderer. And Winstreak might have been over eager on this push. They thought it's going to be simple enough to roll up oh. close. But they're going to be the first team that are going to be eliminated. And Omakin continue their reign of dominance. Even a little few peeps, peeps uh, on top. From the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's just badger. Okay, All right, so, so uh, look, uh, okay, so we're just getting updated standings here, and Omakin have a 21-point lead, so it is their game to lose. Yeah, so apologies. Previously, it seems that the numbers were a bit off, perhaps a bit of a bug in the coding, but no uh, worries, we shoot those away, so those are so, fixed, so... Yeah, and you know, you know what happened right there? Like, yeah. uh, uh, Omakin are basically the Death Star, okay? <laughs> and Winstreak or Alderaan, they just got destroyed, obliterated. Like, look, I'll tell you why Winstreak pushed like that. For Winstreak, look at the overall standings. There's not much you can do from the 15th Hell position yeah. at this point in time. They realize that. they Because they lost a member, they knew it is Omakin. So the only thing you can do is, you know, do what's, what's the best, right? Ruin the fun for the leaders. Absolutely. So, I, and, and perhaps perhaps boosting themselves into top 10 in I, the very best case scenario. I absolutely love that they did what they did. I loved what Game Frame did as well on the second Mirror Mount map. I love that they said, to hell with this. We're, we're rolling, <laughs> yeah. rolling with our homies, and then uh, I, they got destroyed. I mean, uh, there's no other way to put it, but I dig it. And look at, look at Omak in here. They're, they're just oozing confidence right now. Look, just look at this. They're having so well, much fun. They're out and, here dirt biking. And you know, esports sometimes works in a very weird way where uh, it's just not even esports, actually. Esports, regular sports as well. The more confidence you have, <laughs> the better the situations play out in your favor, just because you literally have no sliver of doubt in the back of your mind. Now, Oof. Omakin <laughs> need to be careful of, of not over committing right now towards fights. Again, they want to start fighting when it's like 10, 9, 8 teams remaining. 8, I would say, perhaps might be a bit too late, but we, the, shortly they'll pick up a few more kills along the way towards that path. Raise Your Edge have secured themselves in Gatka, uh, a, a place uh, where... Oh, actually, there was one Navi player close by in the building. I'm not too sure if they're even aware of the fact. It seemed like they were looking around and not really sort of searching for him. Thought? Crossface in the meantime, with uh, his phase squad, has spotted one of the Tornado Energy players. Fortunately for them, he does make a move 
behind the hillside. So, so far so good in terms of everyone making their way towards the first circle and with 35 seconds still remaining before that closes off, I would say everyone is nice and happy with where they are currently within that circle. So, yeah, I mean, look, it's the final game. This game decides the winner and once once that is 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 on the screen like really Omakin right now just need to stay alive and they need to watch out for unity northern lights and raise your edge players and keep them in uh in their eye absolutely and, and look unity have the best chance don't they really and and they come in okay interesting interesting circle there uh th that's a rough one this uh, that is a rough one because like, it pushes these teams so close next to each other and especially the teams coming in from the south side of the map. You can see already shots being exchanged somewhere between uh, red line players and, 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 and Ants, I looks think. Like, yeah. yeah. So, so obviously Amak in here, uh, they'll try to get into the circle most likely late. If last, if possible, Monkey, that is a seriously good shot. It's a headshot on nasty. QB. And out of those buildings and out of the car he goes as well. So Redline do lose one of their members early on. In the meantime, you can see Omakin, of course, having wiped the win streak squad sitting already on four kills. Abiza here tries to get anything done with that uh, SLR in hand towards the TSM squad. But because of the trees, the line of sight is obscured slightly a bit. Uh, TSM, oh, they might run into Unity here. Unity here, the car's approaching. TSM are going to be jumping out. It seems that TSM are looking in the right direction, scoping things out. They have spotted the Unity members. Ardor trying to go for a bit of a pre-fire towards that X angle. Fex needs to heal up. Oh, and, and, and is Redline backstabbing TSM there as well? I saw one Redline member close by. So this might end up horribly wrong for TSM. The t like Redline probably are not going to push unless they see Nox coming through for TSM. That is a solid grenade to land so close to Unity players. They're going to be falling back a bit. They understand that the team in front is going to be playing a bit more aggressive. But most importantly, it's extremely, extremely important that Unity stay alive now and join the fights later on because they need to overtake Omak and which are still in the lead right now. Grenades being used and Unity just realizing, look, guys, we, we don't need to commit here right now. Just fall back and let's see if they perhaps can somehow surprise TSM along the way. In the meantime, Besto uh, from Navi approaching oh, uh, Teb was there but there is a knock from the grenade so TSM relentless they want to push this and now because they know that that is unity they will definitely commit to this fight that is a huge grenade to connect Team here the split as well is coming through so that is a pincer movement happening somehow the unity members are alive they're unaware of the fact that Hyman is it's a flank on the flankers such a reaction coming out from him right now. Still, Nixtis is alive, but, you know, Compot is just bailing out of this one. He needs to uh, stay alive. Hiruzen as well, He's, he needs to make a move out of there. This is just devastating news for Unity, and this, this puts them in an extremely difficult position, having only, uh, what, two members now functional? Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, while all of that was kicking off, mate, I'm pretty sure Apocalypse from Blaze actually got the bounty on T-Bone. Oh, really? Yeah. I completely forgot about the bounty. That yeah. is a huge pickup for Blaze. So There uh, we go. Four points you know, for Blaze right there. I and not just that, $150 as yep. well. $150. That's a nice, that's a nice chicken dinner. 150 yeah. That's it. Loch Ness Monster. One fitty. Um, All right. So obviously, whilst we have a bit of a breathing space here, just to clarify uh, on the prize pool itself, right? So uh, we have $10,000 in total for these PUBG Pro sessions. 5,000 are being played out these two weeks and then 5,000 more in the next following one. So whoever grabs first place today will take for themselves $1,600 plus whatever amount of bounty they have earned. Uh, second place will uh, take $1,000. Third place will take eight hundred and fourth six hundred right so uh obviously oh and of course not just the bounty also whatever money they pick up in the vip round because that is That's still right. yet to be played after this game in the meantime though deep has found decks from game frame 
And I would say, uh, well, so far so good for Northern Knights. Just more of that. They need kills as much as they can get right now. Phase, a daring move, but Ents are not really too keen to overcommit and not too keen to expose them their position right now. Um, using the fact that uh, they have two members still in that building provides uh, cover for their backs and they can peek over this ridge. Pixelic manages to stay alive even though Wookie, your favorite nickname, is out of the game. <laughs> and TSM are looking for more blood. <laughs> oh, what was that? I don't think I've ever seen anyone shoot a Molotov out of the air before. But Fex, if there's anyone who can do it, it's Fex. It's Fex flexing <laughs> on the aim skills he has. Dude. In the meantime, Miracle has gotten a knock towards Raise Your Edge with a grenade. Like, how many grenades does TSM have oh. in their pocket? Monkey! Oh, no! Monkey killed off Shiv? Blue and blue what there. happened there? Redline joins the fight as well as Razor Edge players are falling. Aduzi does manage to get a knock onto Fex. Iro returns the favor there. Ivas kills off Monkey as Redline are pushing in on these knocks. They know the TSM is close by, but oh my god, how the tides have turned. I was towards you, and only two Redline members are alive as TSM are slightly left in shambles. However, they did manage to pick up a few more kills for themselves from Redline. Redline and FaZe now are lurking not far off here. This top of the hill is going to turn into a cemetery very soon. Right, V, this is like the killing fields out here. Can you explain to me what, what is going on? Why why is everybody so keen on this peak right here? To the uninitiated at home, explain it. Why, why do they all want the top of this hill? Well, the top of the hill provides you a lot of vision, firstly and foremost, and, and that's exactly what you need in the, such a crucial fourth game that decides so many things right now. And it's not only that... Remember, uh, the whole server sees what uh, is being shown on the kill feed, so if you align that with the sounds and shots that you're hearing, you know where teams, which ones are fighting and speeding about fighting. Guess who else joins the fight here? Team Liquid. Clib is Clib. going to be forced back now off the back that James oh. has been knocked. Clib is going to be taken down by <laughs> LEA, <laughs> and he says Tornado Energy joins the fight, and that is going to be all she wrote for TSM. Mixie uh, is going to put an end to them, but however, even look. Bard did manage to get uh, the final laugh there as he does get the final burn on towards one of the Team Liquid's oh. members. So it's a big hectic right now as Tornado Energy is coming in. And that's the problem being on the top of the hill and being in fights like this. Yep. You don't really have that much time to look back and to see if anyone is flanking you. And flanks can happen so quickly here as well. As you can see on your screens, it's just really hard to keep up with right now. Navi, though, doing again an excellent job with having four members, members still alive. Senya with the 6X and, uh, and SLR in hand is probably starting to rack up more and more damage. I will remind you again, the first players to see so far in PUBG Pro Sessions with Prince of I, who has breached the 1000 damage uh, line. So oh, an excellent job coming out from him. James, they are still worried that some of the Tornado per Energy players might be close by and his paranoia is definitely uh, <laughs> right about that. But it's not the only team that's close by. Istanbul Wildcats still holding on to this uh, complex of houses. So uh, a good job, I would say, is coming out from them so far in terms of getting the positioning right, setting yourself up for success, making sure that you can uh, safely move afterwards after the circle they know that uh, northern lights are close by you can see them uh, keeping tabs towards that area because also there's like a smoke blooming there so that's just a spiral it's like, hey, out in the open and here come Omakin Omakin yep down down the bounty man T-Bone is no longer in the land of the living the mountain of death my god that, that was pretty that was pretty insane up there I gotta say, I feel like I feel like the the Wildcats have the smarter strategy right here, which is hang back and let the best, the best of the best murder each other. Yeah, well, they need to um, 
uh, realize for themselves what are the uh, more valuable kills and, uh, and nail up a super important kill for uh, Tempest to pick up. Not because it changes their positioning or anything, but they do take down one of the Omakan members now. And it looks like that Tempest are pushing into hospital. They're going to be surprised by the fact that more players from Omakan are here. You can definitely see that they weren't expecting having two kills now and with only two members alive. They are slightly running a risk of being eliminated here, but Omakan as well. They need to do everything they can to stay alive here in Wasp. Who is going to be taken down? Paige tries to return the favor. His position is now right now. And Mixi, can you can you finish what your teammate has started? It's a one v one right now. The grenade is going to go down. Gets caught with his pants down. And Omak and Esports are going to be eliminated in the 13th position right now. Unity definitely can see that on the kill feed with the remaining players alive. Their priority number one is now first. A. Stay alive. B. Pick <laughs> up any easy kills that you can. Blaze is close by. It shouldn't be too difficult. No offense there. Phase in the meantime, <laughs> though, find themselves slightly split up. Some of the members are still towards the top of the hill area. Some of them are towards the bottom of it. Nailup decides to kiss the blue zone and uh, kisses away his his life and let's see the shift of the circle this is just this oh <laughs> <laughs> worst case scenario for blaze unity northern lights <laughs> um what else ends probably is gonna have a rough time approaching it as well and game frame will somehow will need to survive like seven teams approaching their position from all different directions so chances are they won't be making it alive but let's see how Ooh. that plays out and unlucky, Nixie tried to run away from the hospital area and was greeted by Deep with the SLR, and that's more points for Northern Lights. You can see Unity have yet to pick up a kill, and it looks like they have spotted these place players. Grenades are be being thrown, Compot goes for a push. Molotov on the ground prevents him from using that pathway. He actually goes for a climb. This can, can, can play out great for them. Compet. Here's a player coming in, in from behind, I believe. In the meantime, James has found some of the Tornado Energy players. LEA is able to return the, f the favor a bit, but still one more Team Liquid member is alive, and that's Mixi. Two kills, knows one of the Tornado Energy players is down. Would be slightly foolish, in my opinion, for him to go for a push there. He knows there's teammates alive as well. Blaze the Chai's. Mixie, Mixie's gone. Mixie's gone. Tornado Energy now are king of the hill. For now, because game frame <laughs> is close by. In the meantime, though, Blaze are running into phase. They're going to be greeted on that slope there. And oh, look at just the chaos of Oking here. Gustav finally able to open up the fire and rain down from above. Love me some Gustav. Want to see more of that. And what is going on with Unity in the meantime? They, you know, they, like they're, they're standing back. They know that Blaze did make a move right now. Um, uh, oh no, and that's shot towards Unity. If they get a knock, the attention will be on them. Compot will die to the zone, so he denies any points to everyone else. Unity are going to be eliminated here, so both Omakan and Unity, the currently top two teams, are out of this game. Phase so far so good for them. They have lost so far only 8C. Gustav staying alive. They have still yet to pick up kills, but they have spotted Northern Lights um, members here. Blaze is still uh, Blaze Esports that is still close by. Uba does manage to get Rip Nine and Laza as well there. So an excellent pick him up uh, pick up coming out so far, but. The return fire is immense from Northern Lights. A Spyro, Perfectix, both getting kills. Game Frame joins in on the action as well. And it, this is just chaos right now. Tornado Energy, finally, though, we see them showing up, coming up with those kills, getting four kills for themselves uh, so far. And let's see if they can add on top of it. They have spotted these place players who are healing, hiding behind that tree. Unfortunate for them. Molotov goes through. Let's see how the geometry works for them. Oh my god, that is so close. More bullets being put down, more fire on the ground. There's no way Blaze are surviving this. Yeah. That's exactly what happens as Melman actually joins in on the action together with FaZe and they put an end to Blaze. Only eight teams left alive. More, the zone more and more is shifting towards the very peak of the hill here. And it's, uh, no pun intended, an uphill battle it for is. everyone. It is. I love it. I love it. We got, we got dad jokes. Let's bring it. It looks like uh, Ents and Redline have to exchange some shots here. Ouch. Take zoom. 
Ooh, Marv's got a kill there. Rep Marv, you know, joins in on the action. No biggie, no biggie so far. So Tornado Energy, are we going to see a dub? I mean, they, you know, first place at the DLL, they're, they're solid. They're, they're a great team. You've been calling it. Just unlucky. Yeah, just it, it was just pure coincidence, most likely, that uh, what their performance has been so far. But nonetheless, we'll still have two more weeks of action. And speaking about action, Northern Lights are bringing it to Istanbul Wildcats. They're in a bit of a pickle right now, as in the meantime, Game Frame trying to reposition themselves right now. They know can, they could potentially peek down towards Northern Lights, and one of the members has been spotted deep, is in, in a bit of a trouble right now, as Ab just making sure that nobody is going to be flanking them. He saw one of the Red Lines members as well, in the meantime, Istanbul Wildcats have been eliminated. She created was the last man standing, but Batulin's with the DMR, as always. Swoops in, gets the kill, and he's out. Gotta love Batulin's and his DMRs. All right, so Techers and Ab are still, are still hanging in there. The, the buddy film is still alive and well here. Oh, tell you what, though. Surrounded. It's coming from every angle, right? Exactly. So game frame, I mean, this is, in my opinion, the best approach you can do right now. Just make sure that you have eyes watching in every single direction. The worst scenario for you right now is being backstabbed, is being flanked. Uba is doing a great job of staying alive here, using these rocks as cover. This is a bit of a dangerous slope for him to go for, but he doesn't really have that many options. Tornado Energy members surely will hear him sooner or later. Spyro in the meantime as well, trying to stay alive. Northern Lights have managed to pick up, uh, pick up, excuse me, five kills for themselves. Spyro in a bit of a trouble right now as the peak comes through from game frame but return fire is good but Tulin's also does manage to get a knock onto Techers the grenades slightly over the head of Spyro so he's going to be quickly using advantage of the fact and going for uh, a heal red line definitely in a good position to be in right now in terms of having also uh, the cover uh, in the form of a few trees so looking down from the top they might not be spotted just yet but Tulin can use his rain of fire on top of game frame right now the kills are starting to come through more and more for northern lights and this is the exactly the northern lights that you are used to seeing techers both fighting the dust there Tornado energy as well. You can see they're tempted to go for this peak, but they're not really too sure when is the right moment to overcommit. Uh, excuse me, to commit, not to overcommit, right? There's a lot of smokes being put down on the ground right now just to allow just some freedom of movement coming out from these uh, players. Melman, just making sure nobody's creeping, crawling up. Orange from Navi surely is aware that some of the red line players need to be close by, so he keeps tab on it. In the meantime, though, Deep has found Senya and gets a knock onto him. Uba, though, hears the shots coming through, so he might backstab. All alone is Uba, fighting his time. Sneaking closer and closer. Still has four smokes to work with as well, if needs be, as the phase is closing off. Phase number seven, 50 seconds still remaining. Uba just going with the circle, making sure he's maximizing the amount of time he is in safety, not to run into any surprises. Smee sees the smoke from Tornado Energy, is tempted to perhaps to use one of his own and just trying to understand it's like if you are in a position like this your priority number one is just listen to see to observe to understand which pathway is the most likely safe way for you to go ab in the meantime last member standing from game frame and michael stuck behind the car gets knocked by the blue zone and that's unfortunate for him as ab has managed to find perfectix and deep that two pickups ab. on the northern lights players and that's devastating for them right now because they have a very good chance of picking this up can they even go for revives here as best so best ob in a duel and he will be eliminated deep will be finished off i think there and spyro now finally returning the firepower towards besto it's a clash between northern lights and navi navi sitting on six kills right now senya comes in and finishes off he was knocked off knocked on the ground beforehand but the teammate did manage to pick him up sitting on three kills comfortably there uba still alive has done all the calculations correctly now spots the head from batulins 
Does he dare to go for a peek? He was hurt, he was spotted. It's a bit of a duel between these two, and he's slightly getting stuck on these rocks as well. Malfa being deployed is going to push him out in the open, and that is going to be it. Face Clan is going to be eliminated in the fifth position right now, and that leaves us with the top four teams right now. Navi, three members alive. Tornado and Energy, uh, three members as well. Northern Lights, only a single member alive after that clash with uh, Navi and a few others along the way. Red Line, <laughs> they managed to get out of the blue zone <laughs> eventually and this next circle and look look Michael is on a slope so Redline actually can still come in and just ruin everyone's day it's definitely uh, out in the open you can see the tornado energy seems to be that are unaware of the fact where Redline are so far just based off the fact that uh, you know they were out in the open but never mind me as Ali Aore managed to pick up a kill onto Michael Marv burns himself down to the ground, defining any points they can. So that leaves us with only three teams. You have a single member from Navi alive, and who better than to have than Senya, your crucial damage dealer. But Batulins will win that duel, and that means it's a battle between Tornado Energy and Northern Lights. And Tornado Energy finally coming alive in the last game with nothing to lose. Three against one now, but Batulins has the, well, some advantage for sure. Peeking down from above, as mentioned before, is a bit difficult at times, but considering he's one against three, and there's so many angles to play with with all of these rocks, he could find these players one by one. So you can see as well, Tornado Energy, they don't want to overpeak right now, they don't want to overcommit, they don't want to be picked off one by one. They need to make sure that Batulins first exposes himself, then they pinpoint his locations, then they come in from a few different directions and just finish the guy off. Let's see if Tornado Energy can secure their first victory in the first PUBG Pro session, <laughs> and that is going to be exactly the case. Hey, this is Danum D, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, back to the studio. Talk about high octane gaming, you know. Awesome. I mean, Chris, look, uh, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, obviously this was the last game that was giving us uh, actual tournament points in the first PUBG Pro sessions here. We'll still have two more sessions in September, so two more Fridays of the same amount of action that you saw just beforehand. Yep. Now, uh, the production is going to make sure that the standings are absolutely correct. Before, there was a bit of a bug. I believe it's fixed now, so yep. they, they just want to double check before we show them on the screen. We can have a look at the after game standings, all right? So a quick reminder, yep. a quick breakdown to everyone what just happened. So Tornado Energy finally picking up their first win in PUBG Pro Sessions with Printify, securing seven kills along the way as well. So 17 points for them. And this is the Tornado. This is the energy that we like to see, right? Absolutely. And fair play to them for finishing on a high. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Northern Lights, though, coming in second there. Ten of those kills, Batulans. <laughs> seven of them, sorry. Seven of the ten kills, Batulans. I yeah. love that at the end. I loved, I loved, I loved the three v one at the end, and he just said to hell with this and started ch like charging down. I love it. Yeah. So uh, followed in third p place by Navi, and I mean Navi did manage to secure a position on that hill uh, relatively uh, early on. Uh -huh. Once the, the circles start to indicate that there, it, it is going to be uh, somewhere around that area, and it played out great for them. Senya was the last man standing, obviously uh, sitting at a pretty high kill count, I believe, but. Overall, they did manage to secure 8, and overall, 13 points goes towards Navi. Fourth place was taken by Redline, so slightly unfortunate for them. Obviously, the fact that uh, all of uh, attention from Tornado Energy was uh, suddenly directed towards them, they were pinned pretty much towards the back of uh, the blue zone, and not with not much cover in front of them. They're, that's really probably the best they could do it in that situation. It's hard for me to yeah. think of any more like moves they could have made there with the situation that they was yeah. unfolding. Fifth place uh, today taken by a Blaze Esports, and they got the bounty secured as well. So it's seven points now that they get, but they also get plus four points in their overall standings. They get $150 as well, so they can take take themselves out for a nice dinner, you know, chicken and, dinner. And, and just, yeah, <laughs> chicken dinner. You know, uh, all right, I'll, I'll say it afterwards once we're done with the standings. 
<laughs> Excuse me, uh, match result. Uh, Omakin, though, so so it looked like they're having a pretty decent run. They started off nice and uh, nice with a nice tempo. They picked up uh, what who was that? That was Winstreak that were keen to uh, kill them off, right? So uh, they they secured a full wipe on them. That was four kills and one more kill somewhere along the way. But unfortunately, they did fall out in that sixth position. Team Liquid. Um, join the battle on the top of the hill quite early on and oh, yeah. understandably why they are currently uh, after this game uh, they finished in seventh yes. just because it's just too many people too many teams to deal with around and tsm uh yet again within the top eight happy days but uh you know it's, it's uh it's it's been a wild run for them it has and speaking about wild runs ladies and gentlemen i hear with my little ear <laughs> that the standings are in and we are about to find out who are the first winners of the first PUBG Pro sessions with Printify. Are you ready for I'm the ready. action? I'm ready. Do Bring you want to know? Do you want to know? I can't Dude. hear you. Just let me know in the chat. Do you want to know who won? Dude. Do you want to know who is going to be running away with $1,600 right now? Dude. Sweet, the standings are in, and it is Omakin Sports <laughs> with 90 points and a huge upset for Unity as Omakin secure it. And what a way, in what fashion, that previous game did absolutely everything for them. 18 points in the previous game, five more in this one, and excuse me, that was kills, not points, uh -huh. kills. Five in this one, and that is exactly the run. Two wins for them as well, mind you, back to back. One in Miramar, one in Arangal. What yeah. else can you hope for? And that is the level of confidence, the level of professionality that these teams have. Yep. Northern Lights, they didn't really leave the top four starting from the get-go, so they're going to be securing a thousand dollars for themselves as well. Unity, still an amazing performance for them, came in today at the beginning of the day as the leaders after last week, securing third position, securing eight hundred dollars for themselves, and fourth place. Surprise, surprise, <laughs> Navi. Even though last week seemed to be had its ups and downs, today has been definitely an, an amazing day for Senya and his teammates. Senya again putting up insane damage numbers today and you can see the, like, the results of that. Of course, the members of his team as well followed up with kills of their own but that is the top four. So Navi takes away $600 uh, there. That's it. Obviously so these teams also grab whatever amount of bounties they manage to earn yep. but they will also have a uh, you know, the chance to even add a bit more on top in the VIP round. Now, let's talk about a bit more 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th place as well, because you can't disregard those, right? So, raise your edge. So far, so good. I mean, last week we saw different scenarios coming out from them. There were situations where they were just caught with their pants down, essentially. Yeah. Um, today as well, yeah. a, a few times, you know. Same goes for Liquid. Um, Redline, last week, I feel like they had a bit of a better performance overall, even though they, they kept it up this week. And for Blaze, uh, this last game seemed to be a bit of a better run. But, you know, it is what it is. It is. And look, uh, FaZe Clan, 42 points. Solid finish, considering, yep. considering yeah. Uh, how, how how kind of, I guess, uh, the low points of, of last week. TSM 41, Tornado Energy, there you go. Finishing 11th, 39 points. Game frame solid with 37 points. Assemble Wildcats, look, 32 points. Solid effort. Tempest 29, Ants 23. Somebody has to get the wooden spoon. Somebody has to come last, okay? It's win streak on this occasion. But, but ride or die, they rolled up there. They rolled up there on a yeah. Mac in. They gave it their best with T-Bone. They got annihilated, but um, they're well. They're, they're fair play to him for giving it a shot. Yeah, well, I'm extremely happy, first of all, for, for FaZe. They did manage to boost themselves up in higher in the rankings. Tornado Energy as well. They did uh, a, a, <laughs> amazing, I would say, in this game, securing the victory, boosting themselves from 16th towards the higher other half uh, of the overall standings. But... We still have one more thing to do today. Actually, a few things. And, and we still have... Uh, well, I mean, we've been talking a lot so yeah. far. 
So I think it's quite fair, just before the next VIP round, we have another word from our special guest. I believe Danuk D is on the line. Danuk, hello once again. I feel uh, that has been an amazing viewership experience for yourself as well. So Omaken have secured the victory in the first PUBG Pro sessions. And after two weeks, how do you judge their performance? Do you believe they will be able to keep up with their winning streak in the next week as well and just your overall thoughts on, on the game uh i think that team amakan has always showed consistent uh results in any tournament and as a team they perform really well so i'm super sure next upcoming weeks they're gonna perform as good as this week and the previous one so i'm i'm really i'm really confident about them all right. Well, we can obviously only hope for the best in that scenario for uh, Omak. And now, uh, once once the serious side is a is a side, right? We have the fun part approaching slowly. So, um, Sanhok, uh, what are what, what's what's your prediction in terms of how, how long do you think you're gonna stay alive this time? <laughs> this time, I'm gonna definitely try to play a little bit more safer. Maybe land somewhere super unknown so people. Uh, players don't know where i go but yeah, yeah. my first mission will can definitely not die really early <laughs> all right well chris take it away i know you have uh, yeah. some dying uh, burning questions absolutely so last week the plan was to find that glider okay and the the, the plan was to get airborne Donald D soaring through the skies right there I, I love it is that the same is that what we can expect this week or are are, are we expecting something a little bit different What's the tactic? This time, I won't gonna tell my strategy. Let's keep it as a small secret, but I'm gonna repeat myself. I'm just gonna try not to die <laughs> really quick. I love it. Okay, and look, last week you were instantly eliminated. Okay, um, and, and he who should not be named. Um, but but now, obviously, are you happy with the rule change that we have this week? Which is, if you do manage to get accidentally killed before the first circle, then we are actually gonna restart the game. Are you happy about that? I think it's really nice, yeah, because sometimes when there is a, a first fight, uh, teams maybe just spend so much focused on the on the killing enemies and they just can kill me by mistake because they may consider me as a enemy as a last week with this evidence. So I'm really happy that this time we're going to have a little bit different kind of format. All right. Well, Danik D, we're not going to hold off you any longer. Best of luck in the upcoming Sandhawk map. We are very eager to see how this <laughs> all plays out. We're going to finally see a super decent uh, Sandhawk game, a super decent VIP round. So best of luck to you. Make sure that you run fast, fly high, and uh, drive as fast as possible. Yeah, or fly. Or yeah. fly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so whilst the players are jumping into the server, let's just establish uh, the rules once again for anyone that might be tuning in recently. Chris, explain, f first of all, that I will elaborate on this part. The serious part is over. It is. Okay, the serious part is over. Uh, it's just a fun round for uh, the opportunity of people earning some extra cash. So let me know how that plays out. There we go. So basically, Donald D is going to be dropping into Sandhawk, okay? Yep. And... All of the teams that you just saw, 16 of the best teams in Europe, are going to be trying to tag Donald D. Okay, so that, they do that? that's a little, a little, a little fist bump right there. That's it. Okay, and uh, we're gonna show the lobby. You're gonna see a whole lot of, uh, you know. Uh, a whole lot of practice uh, uh, tagging is going to be coming up in a moment. Uh, yep. But uh, their their idea is tag Donald D. She has to then follow that team. Okay, however, she can be a little bit of a nuisance she can yes. she can pick up a gun she can fire it in the air she can if, if the team decides to go inside a building well Donald D can run run around the outside of the building and the whole idea being the other teams are also trying to tag her and kill each other at the same time right so w what happens if multiple teams tag her basically uh, there are uh, there's a hundred and fifty dollars up okay for the tag however it will be split amongst the teams evenly for every single team that manages to tag her okay all right now, if anybody kills donald d again and we've asked the teams very nicely not to do that yeah please don't. She, she's our guest star okay but if they do all right then they get nothing they get nothing okay and the and the prize pool gets split evenly amongst the other teams as we say though banana army we heard your wishes that's donald d's fan base okay yeah. 
Well, let's have Here a look. We go. Well, this is just warm up. There's no tags in, but this is pretty much what you can expect <laughs> to see coming out here. Unfortunately for Danuk, she needs to already run for her dear life as multiple players have found her. Uh, you know, players just warm it, warming up, getting used to. Uh, pretty yep. sure. Pretty sure we're gonna see uh, like uh, yeah. the, the the tags coming through That's in the it. form of damage as well. Hopefully like, they don't smash her to to death, but. Insert whatever movie you want to right here. You know, it's the Karate Kid. It's Rocky. It's it's like a, I must destroy you. But um, look, I can't think of a more dangerous player to try and corral than Donok D as well. I, I feel like Donok could yeah, hold her, she could hold her own against any of the contestants for here. For sure. So, so uh, this that should be pretty fun. Um, I kind of I I'm interested to see. No doubt she's had a week to think about it. A week to think about it. Um, I'm interested to see what the tactic is, but obviously it was hilarious last week when every single body in the plane jumped out. Yeah. Well, so we're, we're we're not far off from all of the action. So, Sanhok, VIP round. Let's see how that plays out. Hey, this is Danumdi, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, let's go into the game. And into the game we go. <laughs> so uh, this time it's it's not <laughs> so much where the team land, teams love, land, right? Yeah, it's, this it's, time it's, it's where Donald D lands. I love follow that. the bunny. Oh, there we go. I love Donald D has her own logo there as well. That's fantastic. And who's that already following her? That's red line on the back. Uh, oh yeah, like red line. Raise your edge. Unity as well are not far from there. But it looks like <laughs> Unity decided not to follow, and I believe red line are gonna make a very early attempt Look to, at to get a tag in tempest haven't even left the plane yet it's a bold it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off right here yeah exactly. um, and look just a reminder okay this is the fun rounds and of course there will be uh printify and PUBG t-shirts for you to win in chat just be active in chat here guys tell a friend and uh, look, there, there's Donuk D. There's Donuk D. She, I mean, for sure she's going to get tagged here. No way. <laughs> <laughs> look at the sickle in hand as well. Donuk is like, look. <laughs> Fists only. Oh, she Fists really? only. Q Who's that? Is that QB? <laughs> uh, the emotes are coming through as well. So it looks like Danuk already has been found, at least by the red line players. And I mean, okay, uh, so far so good. I'd say grenade in hand. Danuk is just picking up some stuff to play with. Uh, she's being presented with the sickle <laughs> there the as well. Sickle. Yes, yes, master. That's it. But in the meantime, look, Team Liquid makes a interested in picking up the guns. Spiral with perfecting <laughs> together are very keen on taking out phase out of this round. Fuzz face. Um, yeah. Last last uh, week we saw it kick off right here as well. Yeah, this this is and I, I think it was the same the same two teams that were fighting. And yeah. last time Faze uh, won the fight, but it looks like it's a different story right now. Fuzz Faze, last man standing for his team. Surely he heals hears the players all around him. I mean, it, the number name is not a, in his favor as the three shots are going pre fire is coming through and perfectix annihilated Face Clan. The first nice. circle is absolutely horrible <laughs> as well for everyone that's in the northern part, but especially Danuk D now together with Redline, they need to make their way towards the very bottom of the map. And look how many teams <laughs> they need to pass. They need to pass <laughs> right. So so from, from this point on, they she can be tagged. So she's going to be officially, well, at least for the time being, Redline's property. Yes. And, and, and we'll <laughs> see if uh, yes. anyone can do anything what? about it. She has. Are, are, is that a shoddy on her let, back? Let's just say an honorary member of the Red Line squad, yeah. okay? And they're being engaged right now. So Don, Don Oak D being really obtuse I here. I love it. She's standing <laughs> out in the open on purpose as well. She's just like, look, guys, you can't <laughs> go too far, and now you're going to get shot. This is great. So, oh. look, Danuk's slightly ruining uh, uh, Redline's game plan here. But right. obviously, Redline are keeping up, so they're just going to be providing uh, cover <laughs> fire for themselves. And I, as well, the phase one, phase one is on its way. And it's, I mean, again, this is all about having a good time. This is all about enjoying yourself. And, uh, oh, here, this is the first tag right here. First official tag of the first. 
Well, oh. the second VIP round. Oh. Uh, the tag is in, so red line. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure they establish that quite clearly. Look at this. What's what's going on what's here? Happening? Is is that a just a? It's a, okay, it's so. a fist fight in the jungle. Are oh. you kidding? This is like the Shaolin versus the Wu Tang. Oh, look at this. This is incredible. And then we go. <laughs> so Oma can oh. eliminate Ents by hand. We just saw a man get beaten to death in the jungles here. This is meant to be a, a holiday destination. Oh my God. Well, I love. I love that the teams are embracing the fun side of it. Now, now Donald D can heal up, though. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, exactly. But she can she can use pretty much anything she can. She yep. obviously just needs to make sure she doesn't actually kill the team that has yep. managed to take her. And look, uh, right, raise, uh, is that raise your energy? Yep. Yeah, raise your edge, excuse me. Raise your edge uh, is very close by, and Udir might just spot them. Not too sure of his uh, position so far. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Senya is still gliding. How is that I, even possible? I told you, it's possible because he's Russian and automatically awesome, okay? <laughs> Absolutely awesome. There we go. So look, um I feel as though I feel as though he's just gonna hang out in the sky, swoop in. Well, that's, tag a, that's not D. a bad tactic, right? Stay a lot, uh, in the air as long as you can. You might potentially have a nice drop on them. In the meantime, Northern Lights just expressing their uh, displeasement with the fact that Omaha yep. secured the victory here. Gem T is going to be <laughs> taken down and told to just go ahead and relax a bit. The jungle of death. It's all kicking off here. All right. So, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's oh he's shadowing Did he's he shadowing get, them though. I think he has spotted them so yeah. far. Not can't really say, but they are a red line actually doing an interesting thing here as well. So they're sticking by in the blue zone so far. Yeah. Udir is going to be discouraged from staying there for too okay. long, or is he? All right. So we saw them dropping all the meds to Donok D and, and Donok D medding up. So maybe yeah. there was some instruction there. Uh, because we're going to be running through the blue. Look, they are, they're being stingy. They want the full 150 to themselves. Oh, we got a man down, though. Unity joins the fight and he gets a Marv out of the game. Ivas, though, is going to be able to retaliate here. Dan Hakti, in the meantime, <laughs> just running it around, enjoying the show as a red line heals up and enjoys the spoils of war. We, we might have to ask Dan Hakti, like, what is it? What's more stressful when you actually get to fight or you're not allowed to? Because right now it it, it seems like it would be a little bit stressful, I, for, right? For no. me, it would be <laughs> not running into a crossfire. Did Udir just spot them? Okay, Udir for sure knows that they are there. He, he this could be extremely poor timing don't, on his behalf. He spots, he spots her. He spots her. No, no, no that's the wrong. Udir, no, my man, stop, stop shooting, Donald D. He, luckily, he ran out Udyr. of bullets. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, bro, but like if she... <laughs> yeah. Bro, bro. <laughs> she has... Okay, so she has four bandages, two first aids, so she'll manage this okay. zone, but the next oh. phase and you can just is feel not far from there. You can you can feel the collective sigh of relief. Look how far oh they God. are. Still. You know what's the worst part? As soon as the first <laughs> phase closes off, the second zone starts to kick in, and it uh -oh. hurts a bit more, right? So oh, that's no. why, really, uh, Danik D right now with Redline are, are on the move. Oh. Um, and, and, and going forward that. In the meantime, though, Iro has managed to find a visa. Tempus are having trouble with uh, directing their vehicles. They're losing okay. their lives to, to, to some bizarre turn of events. Mate, the, the Banana Army are literally sweating bullets right now. So here we go. This, yeah. That is a, they, they need a vehicle, right? They, they, need, they definitely, I would say for sure right now, if they want to make it safely to the zone, because realistically, by the time they get to this circle, if they try to do it by foot, they might not even have enough time before the third circle kicks in. Now, these teams are allowed to communicate with Danuk D using the in-game voice chat, yep. so so obviously they are coordinating, it, it, they are coordinating a bit, but obviously it works in proximity, <laughs> so if Danuk D <laughs> runs off too far, uh, she will not hear what Redline members are saying, and like, I was there as well on a slither of health, obviously popping those heals, popping those bandages along the way, game frame here stuck slightly, uh, Ab has has been knocked. Wookie Wookie dies to the blue zone. Oh, no. in, uh, finds love and MDK. So Wookie uh, Wookie Wookie Wookie. A bit, a bit of aim training for 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 everyone here. <laughs> just you know, uh, same as with professional sports. You know, cooling down 
after a long day exactly. of intense battles, and you just need to make sure that you let your muscles relax yeah, think in, of, in, in a proper fashion. Think of know? the VIP round as the jacuzzi round, okay? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is meant to be relaxing. Every, everything's allowed. <laughs> Almost everything. Oh no, Michael is out on the ground. It's only Ivis staying alive here, and Ivis is <laughs> gonna be. The <laughs> I was like, look, down here comes. Let's go for a the ride. The tuk tuk. Oh, there we go. Oh, fantastic. Well, well right. the good news is they'll be able to make it to the next circle. In the meantime, though, yep. Alia there. Uh, Will they though? It's still quite the distance. What do you think? A bit of a distance, but I, I'll think it'll be enough because you can use bandages while you're in the car, and yeah. at least Danuk definitely had plenty of them. Yeah. Even if uh, the red line team member dies there, um, he, he'll be able to, you know, um, pass on the legacy <laughs> of the contents of his backpack uh, onto her. So she'll make it, I believe. Okay, I believe. <laughs> cue the cue the Benny Hill music here, mate. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's exactly. Just, it's fantastic. They're in the clown car. Here it goes. <laughs> we did actually ask Danuk D, IRL, has she ever driven a tuk tuk before? Yeah. The answer was no. However, it is yeah on shocker her, there, right? Yeah, it's on her wish list uh, uh, to do. I think the next Southeast Asia trip. So, um, look, th this is um, this is brilliant. Look at this! Look at this action right here. Well, they need <laughs> to get a move on, and they're uh, and they're and they're driving into a bit of action right now. So uh -oh. the zone is close by. They obviously don't want to reel uh, their position too much. So uh, the last remaining red line member is uh, steering the direction of these events uh, so far. Mixy and it looks like he's doing a good job at that. There's so many ghillie suits around. So many. I love. You love to see it. Look at they look. Well, like you know, nervous. everyone's making use of the trucks as well that are. Um, driving on, on, yeah. on set paths around the Sandhawk map, so obviously there's a lot of high-tier loot available. James, in the meantime, has found Fex there, so unfortunately uh -oh. for Fex, he'll need to... Uh, well, that's pretty much it for him in terms of playing games uh, on on uh, the PUBG Pro yeah. Session servers today, but ladies and gentlemen, again, a quick reminder, next Friday and the Friday after that, yep. we're going to have PUBG Pro Sessions number two with Friendsify, <laughs> and of course, Danik D is going to be there. Of course, there's going to be VIP around, so make sure you drop a follow uh <laughs> hit that notification icon make sure that you are aware with the next time we're going to be going live but it's not all over yet the next circle slightly goes towards the and TSM, uh, northern west side TSM, of the map tsm are getting dangerously close to the donald yeah. d right here and and team liquid are out there as well so <laughs> hiding in the hut but donald <gasps> d is Donald. shooting the ground drawing attention to herself right here Ivis is probably trying to gonna go. TSM, TSM. Oh no, Iro, Iro has heard him. I, Iro knows. Iro knows <laughs> for sure. TSM <laughs> is trying to save their lady <laughs> out of the hands of Ivis, and Ivis uh, surely unaware of the fact that he should be trembling. This is just perfect. <laughs> this is the best case scenario for oh. TSM. I would say as long as Iro. I, I think he hasn't just pinpointed the exact location Look, yet, but he's definitely looking in see, the right direction. You see Donok there, Donok D dropping the scopes. I love it. The teamwork, the camaraderie. I mean, but it's Unity oh. now. Oh, Unity joins in on a fight, but now Ivas eliminating him. That does mean that Iro knows pretty much the exact location where he should be looking at. The direction is there. What he did, though, from Unity is gift them a vehicle and that's means of escape yes. so Iro, even if he goes for a, sh a shot here he needs to be very careful not to tag Danik D along the way <laughs> she's just <laughs> you love to see it yes that's great let's see if Iro will let it rip with the M249 oh. hopefully not because those vehicles will not stand <laughs> too last in front of this uh, weapon somehow I feel like M249 beats 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 uh, 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 beats the the tuk tuk definitely, mate. So this could be uh, this could be disastrous. But all right, okay, they're they're proceeding on foot. All right, they're inside the cave here. And, and a quick reminder as well, like it's also in your interest to actually win this game, just yep. because uh, yes, you do not get points, but you'll still get fifty dollars. Yep. Okay, so. Uh, 
$150 will be split among the teams that tagged her, while the remaining 50 are going to go towards the team that wins the game. Yep. So uh, Redline obviously are just trying to secure that 150 for themselves and not share with anyone else. James, in the meantime, will drop Miracle, so that's one more member of TSM out of the game, but Iroh doesn't care too much about it. <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> Donald D has the theatrics right here. Action she's is coming. Given, she's given the throat slitting emote right there, and now she's jumping around. <laughs> He's trying I, to say. I was, I was, I mean, I, 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 I would look, wonder what I was just oh, saying look to you. Oh no, tornado energy! They're then, on the hunt. The, they, to, the tornado is on the hunt. You know, it, those shots from Danik D as well probably sound like so out of place <laughs> on the map that it's quite clear that someone's just drawing in attention. And look, tornado energy are just coming in to sweep her off their feet. First, they'll need to deal with Ivas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't kill oh, Danik no. D. Though. Danuk D has been spotted. Let's make sure that she doesn't. They've spotted. Ivas, she's, she's baiting them in. Ivas is getting to lay fire, but Ivas will be eliminated. Going for the tag. There we go. She she doesn't even go for to avoid. So now the hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> will be sp split between Redline and Tornado Energy. Yep. Let's see if anyone else can get in on the action. Danuk D, so helpful. She even dropped the smoke there to make <laughs> sure that the Revi can come through. Banana and the army just make sure that you show your support for your favorite streamer here. Obviously Danuk D show, giving us a wonderful time. TSM now. <laughs> oh, this is going to be huge. With two members alive, they do have a bit of a problem oh. right now. They need to deal with tornado energy somehow and also making sure that their princess uh, stays alive. <laughs> it, it is absolutely. It's totally Mario Brothers. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Snakes in the grass. Snakes in the grass here in the wilds of San Hawk. <laughs> The Donald D snake. Oh, uh, oh, Vard, Vard spotted them. Oh. Vard knows that she's currently in the in in hand of tornado energy. Vard gets a knock on to Melman. Let's see if he can do more. But oh. the zone is devastating, and the backstab from example. Or, 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 did he just find an yes. angle onto him? He did. So Vard, uh, uh, an unfortunate, well scenario for him in the meantime though Dinox forced to avoid the zone she's yep. going to be moving a bit forward there oh, oh no a doozy no, a a doozy. no mommy. <laughs> okay right so Chris let me know what happens if Dinox D gets killed because obviously this is way past the first circle it's not going to be a remake yep so what that means is that Raise Your Edge cannot get any of the tag money, yeah. okay? They can still get 50 bucks for winning, yeah. okay? But the the, t the tag money, $150, is going to be split between Redline and Tornado Energy. And so they each, they each take home an extra 75 bucks, okay? Yeah, and and the winner, uh, uh, the winner is getting the fifty dollars. Yeah, so like if someone managed to tag her as well as win the game, yeah. Uh, for example, that would be Tornado Energy right <laughs> now. They'll get like fifty bucks on 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 top of whatever they're splitting currently with Redline, who did yeah. get the first tag in there, right? And if I could make a suggestion, Redline yeah. and Tornado Energy. You know, seventy-five dollars. I think you should both send a nice, a nice bouquet of flowers yeah. to, to Latvia to Donald D. I think that would be absolutely phenomenal because she was a a great, a All great right, let's teammate. And here's a doozy though: the murderer. Yeah, the the, the man of the <laughs> hour, right? Uh, obviously. It most surely wasn't done on purpose. I, I presume that he got confused because Danuk was, was wearing armor, like first level armor, so perhaps he just didn't see the clothes and, and you know, there's like shot, guns, shots and everything. He might be punished now in the form of Dex and that's exactly what happens as uh, <laughs> he gets knocked. However, luckily for him, Monkey came in and saved the day, so Game Frame will be eliminated out of this one. Uh, raise your edge, still alive. Max is already as well having a bit of a brawl there with more than lights only a single member from blaze is alive right now and that is laza still has three kills to his name northern lights have managed to gather seven here so far so great job coming out from them uh going for that juicy w it looks like at least the qbz as well deals so damage grenade straight in front of his face and wow oh monkey left his own teammate in the <laughs> zone he was like, you know what? You deserve this. Well, you denied us cash. So just to be clear, 
Uh, just to be clear, okay, uh, raise your edge cannot, even if they win, cannot get the $50. Second team place would be getting the $50. The so they get nothing. They get nothing. The punishment for killing Don Ok D is incredibly severe at the PUBG Pro Sessions with Printify because we love Don Ok D, okay? So yeah, you, yeah. You get nothing. Nada. No, it'll be a good lesson for them it's next it. time. Before you take your <laughs> shots, make sure it's not Don Ok D. Winstreak are still alive, and it seems that they have uh, uh, spotted Batulins out in the open a bit. So a few shots exchanged there. There's the airdrop coming in as well. If uh, we can, we'll find out what's inside shortly. In the meantime, with the Wanderer in the hands, he has the barrel. And there's only four teams remaining here now. Considering how up close these battles are becoming, that grows that could be absolutely deadly. Uh, did I saw an MK14 in the hands of the Wanderer, or am I mistaken? You Not may sure. Have win Anyways, we have Winstreak, Navi, Team Liquid, and uh, <laughs> Tempest still alive here. And Tempest, did they just spot Team Liquid? Oh, here we go. It looks like no, no, no. It's it's behind the hill. It's just like the X-ray is messing with me already. Now, Tempest currently <laughs> are uh, pretty much the only team that's in zone. Team Liquid also have a very good shot at, at grabbing the W here. Win streak will need to move in, and I believe they're gonna have a horrible time because teams already have established yeah. themselves and have established these positions. And same goes uh, for Navi because like the uh, the edge uh, is currently uh, the ridge sort of, uh, excuse me, no, the ridge is held by Team Liquid. That's just houses that are being held by Tempest there. Apologies, there's been a lot of games today, yeah. a lot of Oh, good, action. mate. Oh, good. I, I love Pixelic up on the roof there, though, digging that win streak, have to move in. Luke, we're, we're about to see, uh, we're about to see four teams become two very quickly, I think, mate. It starts to look like it, because Winstreak have lost one member so far. The Gilly is there for Team Liquid, and this might actually bite someone in the back if he goes for a prone position. Orange has spotted Kimba. Kimba is running for his dear life, trying to hide in the smoke, trying to pop a first aid kit. Does he get it off with only a slither of health remaining? He does so, yes. and he gets to heal up the grenade as well. Doesn't deal so much damage. He's going to be pushed out in the open. They can't do much anywhere. Anyways, at that point in time, still two more people alive from Wind Street. Orange will drop Kemba. Wanderer will die to the zone. And that is uh, pretty much almost the end of Wind Street here. Unless Offstring can pull up, pull out some sort of miracle play. I, I, I'm sure they, he's unaware of the fact that Tempest as well is extremely close by. Orange just finishes the job. Offstring left with 15 health. He's going to be Ouch. spotted there, and that is it. That's all she wrote. Orange have eliminated win streak here, and that leaves us with Navi, Team Liquid, and Tempest right now. I'm very keen on seeing how these ghillies will play out right. for Liquid. Navi looking pretty good here. Orange with five kills there as well. Very, very deadly in the jungle. And here comes, here comes your ghillie, though. Here we go. Yeah. yeah, they're pretty pretty split apart from each other, <laughs> and there is is what's what's happening there. So Team Liquid looks like they are gonna run uh, into <laughs> a Navi. Uh, James is uh, acting as a bush right now. <laughs> so, uh, uh, in, in all fairness, you can yep. barely see the guy. So true. Uh, I'm sure he'll find something. The circle is. Uh, Pretty rough, like you need to climb a hill, and that means that's the end of Tempest here shortly. <laughs> Orange knows that there's someone here as well. The grenades start to come through. <laughs> the rock is a pretty obvious cover to have. The zone is going to hurt like hell. And goodbye. Ouch. Nalop. Sorry, Orange. bro, but that's just how it works so far, though. Uh, and as I was oh. about to say, Pixelic, never mind, they've never made it. So it's Navi against Team Liquid here. Neither of these teams did manage to tag down a D, so meaning they're just fighting for $50 they extra are. right now. They are, but they say grenades being used right now. Getting an advantage point peek over this rock. Spots one of the Navi players there. Does Navi realize that there's one more player from Team Liquid, and that is Jeems close by. Jeems just trying to get an angle alert. No, that's a huge connection there. Jeems does manage to get the tab. He theoretically can be rezzed right now. More grenades being deployed towards the Navi members of Team Liquid. Oh. They actually get it! Team Liquid, they <laughs> wipe oh. Navi. Amazing! Oh.
Hey, this is Danumdi, and you're watching PUBG Pro Sessions by Printify. Starting your own brand has never been easier. Choose from hundreds of products. Upload your design and customize to match your brand. Publish products straight to Shopify or any other store. We will take care of the rest. Print it, pack it, and ship it to your customer. Now, back to the studio. All right, happy days. The VIP round has played out. So one more time to anyone that was just tuning in just now. <laughs> this was a fun round, okay? So this is obviously something that you wouldn't normally see played or, uh, well, the way how it was played out yeah. as well wouldn't be uh, your classical approach there. So first of all, congratulations to Team Liquid. Yep. They have secured $50 for themselves. And they're going to be pretty happy about that, I'm sure. Uh, obviously, Redline... They managed to get the first tags in onto Danik D. <laughs> Tornado Energy joined in on later on there. So they're going to be splitting that cash in between. Yep. Now let's just talk a bit about the criminal out of all of these <laughs> teams that we're playing here. Oh, a doozy. I, I, I dare say, I, I dare say, uh, probably off the Christmas card list in terms of the Banana Army, the, the, the Danuk D yeah, fans. Yeah, def okay. definitely. Banana um, Army is not going to be a fan of his. And his own teammates seem to leave him behind there in, in the blue and uh, and and of course, even if they'd won, second place would have got the cash. You, you get yeah. zero cash. So um, and look, I thought that Donald D was a superb teammate, dropping well, meds, dropping attachments. Who better to hear it from than the lady of the hour herself, <laughs> Danuk? Let us know. Did you enjoy your first proper Sandhawk experience today? That was really fun <laughs> and interesting to play. Really, I didn't expect such a hardship though in this uh, specific uh, match. Unfortunately, that was really fast and I didn't have much meds, but luckily, uh, the I think that was somebody from Red Line. Uh, uh, it was actually Raise Your Edge. <laughs> no, no, we found the oh, Tuk Tuk. And sorry, oh, the first tag. Yeah, 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 that was Red Line. Oh, Apologies. Yeah, Red Line. So luckily, we found that Tuk Tuk and we at least didn't die from the blue. <laughs> well, at least you didn't die plumbable. So the Tuk Tuk saved you, the meds were shared around, and that was amazing. Now, considering that you did die and not by uh your own <laughs> fault um are, are are you planning on somehow taking revenge on this so, so for example if if the next vip round next week uh you're being tagged by raise your edge i'm sure that you're gonna sabotage the hell out of them <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> So re revenge is a dish best served by denying cash. Look, um, I, I, we're, we're glad you enjoyed that. You managed to last an, an awful long time. Um, in, yeah, in terms, in, in terms of tactics for next week, are, are you going to scheme up something different as well? Mm, I'm going to definitely think about more. I'm just like curious. I Once again, I was trying to go for the glider. Yep. But we had so much fun in the compound at the beginning of looting. <laughs> And then I realized that the circle is really coming. I have no gas can, so no chances I can go for the glider. So that's why we kept running uh, to the circle. And I'm still trying to get the glider at some point. Maybe I'm going to manage to do it next week. We're going to see. Nice one. Nice one. Yep. And then, uh, look, any any message for uh, Banana Army there? I mean, tell them to go easy on a doozy. Yeah, right? for, I mean, first of all, a doozy, I mean... <laughs> you know, he might have been confused slightly on the action. So uh, anything that you want to pass on uh, to uh, your Banana Army, as well as, I mean, a a any message in general that you would like to, to, to give us about the VIP round. Thank you so much for Bananas uh, for watching this tournament in general and supporting in the... Uh, VIP round I was watching. It's a little, a little bit delayed, but I see you all laughing there. It was it was pretty fun. And thank you so much for being on this awesome tournament together with us. Well, that is uh, pretty much all she wrote about the Sandhawk. Now, Danuk D, obviously, we are going to still hear a lot more from you because there's still two more weeks to be played out here. There's going to be two more uh, VIP rounds played out as well. So I'm sure we're all going to have a great laugh. Uh, make sure that you clip the VOD for yourself as <laughs> well because that's definitely a memorable moment and something that you don't get to see often. So I'm sure that we are going to have a lot more fun soon. Soon. So, Danuk D, enjoy your night. Thank you for joining us as a special guest and best of luck to you in the future. Thank you so much, you two guys. Thank you. All oh. right. So, I mean, we've we've seen so many interesting things happening yep. today. So, let's just quickly take it from the top. All yep. right. Anyone tuning in now, 
looking at why is there a sandhawk? Why are people running around with fists? <laughs> uh, and and the most randomest stuff is happening. These are PUBG Pro sessions with Princeify. So yeah. first of all, if you get want to get yourself some insane t-shirts, I think there are still giveaways happening in the chat. Oh, perhaps. Yeah. Um, can't really see it right now, but we'll sure uh, make sure that you have a gog there as to what's happening in that direction. Secondly, okay, if you are already an established personality like Chris here, yeah, <laughs> Trump monkey, if you want to get your own custom sheet t shirt to hand out, make sure to hit up Printify. They surely can arrange something for you. Definitely. Uh, I mean, defo. Uh, secondly, PUBG Pro Sessions with Printify offers $10,000 to 16 Europe's top best teams right yep. now. And the first PUBG Pro Sessions have concluded. And the first winners are Omaken, which have secured themselves $1,600 in the first place. But you know what? It's hard to keep uh, all of this in, in the yeah. back of your head. So let's have a look at the standings just one up. more time. Just pull up the numbers. Pull Absolutely. Up the numbers. So you mentioned $1,600 and $5,000 for the first two weeks. Yeah, the yeah. total prize pool between the bounties and the VIP rounds. 1600 in first place there to Omakin. Northern Lights are taking home $1,000. In, in second place, in third place there, $800 for Unity. And what a pleasant surprise, yes. Unity, as well. Having that recent merger with with Potential as yep. well. Going through that, that's just an amazing story to have, and I, I hope to see only more so from them. Totes, my goats. They were awesome. And look, uh, uh, fourth place, $600 there for Navi. And I think Omakin, though, uh, uh, absolute highlight, 19 kill rounds out there. <laughs> that was that, that was... is still, I can't believe that they <laughs> wiped like a third of the server. Let's just round it up. Yeah. You know, because you round up upwards anyway. So Incredible. taking down a third of a server, if, if anyone didn't manage to tune in for the first Durangle game, yep. make sure that you have a look how like really you turn up to pace of the game <laughs> absolutely and even better yet if you're not already following we're going to be back here next friday yeah next friday same S time yep, 7 p.m 7 p.m cest right right for for basically session number two week one exactly and, and here's the back end of the standings then and sh uh, fair play to face they yeah they, they made a solid finish there as you would expect from the pros uh, 42 points. Consi Consi considering how they started yeah, last yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. the first three rounds last week. They were TSM, bottom. not typically a team that you would expect to see on the 10th position. But again, yeah. they, they, they have been baffled with, with uh, just being caught out in, in the most awful of timings, right? And it's just been unfortunate so far for them as yeah. well. So uh, same goes actually for Tornado and Energy as well. It's definitely a team that usually you would expect to see a higher in the overall standings. But again... These are some intense sessions, and there's such a lot of action happening between all of these teams. It's really hard for, for someone to stay alive and stay well-informed as well to make sure that you're making those best decisions. Game frame, the heroes of the day <laughs> uh, in, in, in terms of picking up that bounty from Unity. So they did secure themselves awesome. extra four points, and they did secure themselves also $150 for, you know, nice nice little tap on their, their own shoulders and, yeah. and a pat on the back, right? Istanbul Wildcats. Yep. Kings of Middle East Africa. Absolutely. I think they absolutely repped well here. Um, we would love to see them come back. Yeah, we, we need to point well. out that BSD on their team so far definitely has been the main da damage oh, yeah. dealer, but I'm sure we'll see more of them uh, next week. Uh, Tempest, uh, well, they have put up a good effort. I remember a few times they were sort of pretty much just screwed over by the zone. Yeah. So, uh, yep. you, you know, the RNG... It, those shifts can be absolutely devastating at times. A cruel mistress. And as well, another team that you wouldn't expect to be in this position, but it's pretty. It's been a pretty similar story for them. And I mean, as well, last week, you know, bounty. Uh, excuse me, the VIP round. Skushke taken out <laughs> Danuk D so early in the game that everyone was just a bit stumbled and, and Danuk, Danuk D as well with the banana army Oops. weren't too impressed impressed and win streak the team that uh was uh, the last one to join the top 16 invited into this event obviously is uh is you know 
they're still finding their pace here. Exactly. But, but it's just it's so much on the line, and it's just understandable um, wh where they are. But they did have moments of brilliance, undoubtedly, yeah. and undoubtedly we're going to see a bit more. So, Chris, next, next week, you next know. Next week we start from scratch. Yeah. Same, same teams, but it's a brand new team. Same team, same, team, same money. Brand new tournament, same Don D, same VIP bounty, excuse me, VIP Sunhawk rounds. Uh, and it's going to be very, very exciting. Uh, make sure you've hit the follow button. Make sure you're following on Twitter as well. Uh, throughout the week, daily giveaways of PUBG yeah. and Printify tees. And, uh, and yeah, I've, I've had a lot of fun the first two weeks anyway, Matt. I can't wait to see... Can't wait to see O'Mac and come back and try to defend the title. Should be exciting. Yeah, well, if you want to learn everything you can about PUBG, about pro play, about how things should be played out, about how to turn up the pace, about how to approach different situations depending on where you are in the standings, depending on what you need to achieve and how you need to perform and how you need to play in those situations, this is the place where to be so for now ladies and gentlemen a huge thank you to everyone that tuned in today uh obviously uh weeks the second weeks are more interesting in terms of closers but to make yeah. sure that you tune in for the first week as well next week again for the openers right because pubg pro sessions with printify number two are next week same time same place i'm gonna say goodbye for now i'm v this is trumpet monkey we've had a blast so far so it's time to everyone just enjoy a nice Friday evening. Happy Friday.